The recognized symbol of excellence in online entertainment. This is G.I. Kyle. When I'm not taking shirtless selfies on Instagram and drinking White Claw while having hot sex with my wife Karen and making truck videos, I like to listen to the shows on VRS, Veteran Radio Syndicate, your home for the best quality veteran entertainment. Between the paps and the cores And the two swinging doors Faded words But he read them just fine If you cheat, hope it's death that you're cheating If you lie, lie with someone you love If you fight, do it for the right reason if you drink, then come drink one with us.
Stone dead, stone dead, stone dead, stone dead, stone dead, stone dead. The stone, the stone dead, the stone dead, the stone dead, the stone dead, the stone dead. I hit the ground running when I'm invading your country It's still with honor and discipline Throw my guns like onions Dressed in camo with ammo For every situation I handle They got us marching and stepping by my platoon yeah. I have been shot at all day Let's see what Stebro's up to Jesus Oh Hey, mate, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, man. What you doing? Oh, you know, just looking at the reg manuals, you know. <laughs> man, it is just so fucking boring today. Boring. Yeah, I know. It's just, I've been shot at all day either, man. It's just been a weird day. Oh, you know what? The bro, the fucking bar comes on in a few minutes. Wait, the bar? Yeah, the bar. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. the bar from VRS, that 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 same bar, yeah. The bar from VRS. Holy shit, that's better than jacking. I mean, looking at reg manuals. God. And live from VRS. It's the bar. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another edition of the bar, right here on the Bet Radio Syndicate. I'm your host, John Kermain, aka. Many. One of these days, I'll get that shit right. Me, United States Marine Corps veteran, 2311 was my MOS. Uh, yo, yes. And as my boss reminded me yesterday, no ordinance man never won a Congressional Medal of Honor. I'm not sure if that's true. I'll have to look that up. But I'm an OG, the Veteran Radio Syndicate, a card care member of the E4 Mafia. And I'm here to dance like a monkey to make you laugh because that's the only thing I know how to do to help my community. I suck at organizing and I'm too much of an empath to do much of anything else. So, um, yeah, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do some 70s music and uh, trivia, a movie and music trivia, which I'm going to get destroyed at this week. I did zero study, and I know shit about the 70s, so that'll be fun. We're going to do some memes of the week. We're going to talk some shit, um, probably discuss uh, Miss uh, Brittany uh, Grenier uh, and her uh, slam down sentence. Uh, probably a few other things in the news and uh, it just have some shits and giggles to talk about a bunch of stuff you shouldn't talk about in a bar. So without further ado, I'll bring on my first uh, co-host. He is a United States Naval veteran. He was a Fleet Marine Force corpsman, which means he's a devil doc. And uh, yeah, he just can't seem to stop uh, looking uglier every time I bring him on the show. What's up, Doc? Hey, big head. What's up? Well, what's going on, man? How you doing? How you feel after the I'm draft? Doing... You, you, you feeling strong? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. For those of you feel, don't know, feeling way better team, than Pook. <laughs> about, and I don't blame anybody. Like fifty people watch that fucking broadcast because it is boring to watch unless you're inside of the group. But I still have to put it on air because I need it. I need to go back to the tape. To put it that way. That was we, that was the fastest draft I ever took part in. Yeah, dude, nobody's fucking around. It was great. I loved it, man. I mean, I've seen drafts go like three hours long in person. Oh, my God, they're brutal. So brutal. But when you put people on the clock, man, you put people two minutes on the clock. That's that's. Uh, last year, I think it was five. You had five minutes. And people will take yeah. five minutes. So you put two minutes on, you make your picks. You know, and it, it, it's even across the board. So everybody, you know, it affects everybody the same way. So uh i liked it yeah and, and michelle said it was the fastest draft she's ever been in so yeah it was good i, I you know what oh. i feel good about it but i feel good about every draft so you know i feel good about first. it and i i also feel good about the team i helped Alyssa get yeah yeah i figured as much <laughs> fucking collusion you know i'm the commissioner right you probably shouldn't have told me that Two years hey, i'm the one that made sure she actually got a kicker <laughs> would, would she take one in like the fourth round yeah, she took Justin Tucker in the third in the third round. Well, I mean, I did put that bonus up for freaking kickers, you know. I did, so I think you know it's like every. I think I added like a point or two to everything over thirty yards. I think it's like six points or seven points for like a fifty yard or so. I mean, you know, that might win her a game. If it wins your game or two, it's almost worth it. But uh, Michelle, yeah, my wife got two kickers. I don't know why. I told she did it yesterday. I told her not to do it. But I mean, you, you always need a backup kicker for when you have a, a bye week. 
you just pick it up. You just pick one up. You just fucking. Eh. I don't think I've ever lost a game because I I didn't have a good enough kicker. I don't think. Maybe I have. I don't know. Uh, because I had to like you know I had mine on a buy. Whatever it is, it is. If you if you guys want to see some uh, interesting, uh, uh, I don't know how to put it. Um, Shenanigans. <sighs> Yeah, I guess maybe it's really not entertaining unless you're in it. You know what I mean? But I have to put, I had to record it and put it out there so that I can go to the tape and say, no, you said this. No, you did that. So unfortunately, we didn't have Justin. Justin, um, J Dub, aka J Dub uh, from BB Nation. Make sure you catch him. Uh, he does two shows a week on uh, Spreaker. Uh, I think one's country on Wednesdays and Friday is rock. It's always a fun show, him and high tech. It's, uh, He's one of my favorite dudes ever. He's hilarious. One of these oh, things hey, I'm dreaming again. Check this out. So you know that she's uh I'll show you real quick. We're dying with anticipation. Uh, there you go. <laughs> she's sitting away from me so you can say that she wasn't colluding. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. You guys are using carrier pigeons, right? Okay. Anyways, uh, hey, John, what's going on, man? I think a couple of your memes uh, snuck into the uh, to the memes of the week this week. I mean, you sent me like 500, and it was a little hard to, to pick the ones. I, I couldn't – I think I only put one of the ones you sent me on the main page. The rest I had to put on the bar because they were too uh, – they were got us shut down, and we're still dying on the vine from the last time we got shut down. So, like, literally, this is going to be the worst bar show in probably five years. Rage wise, I can already tell. Um, I've won quite a few games because of my kicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, secret trades are coming. Hey, I'm the, I, I put in there. I have to. I, I, I have to. Okay, all trades. So if I, if I sniff, you get a waff, a little waff of uh, shenanigans. And just to be a dick, I'll even put it to a vote. Of course, I'll contact everybody beforehand and tell them to vote no. But you know. Just saying, just saying. And the same goes for me and my wife. I'm not going to help my wife at all because she picked a really strong team, so I'm kind of nervous, to be honest with you. <laughs> and if she beats me, I'm never going to hear the fucking end of it. So it is what it is. Thank you all for joining us. Please help us out. It's the dog days of summer here for uh, live stream. Uh, this is when we die on the vine, so to speak, And uh, yeah, which is – I get it. Everybody should be out doing stuff and doing fireworks and – shooting stuff and fishing and camping and NASCAR races and whatever the hell you can do during the summer instead of sitting here watching this. Uh, but I appreciate anybody who tunes in now. And if you see it later, share it out, you know, anywhere you can. John says it's fucking hot here. Dude, you live in, well, I'm not going to say where you live, but I know where you live. And uh, it's not that hot. Stop being a bitch. It's not Texas 67 hot. Here where I'm at. It's not Arizona. It's uh in the city of Seven Hills, the Queen City, Cincinnati. It's I think it's probably in the seventies at this point. So all right, without further ado, let's bring on our next guest. I don't know much about her, but she's kinda got a kinky little librarian, dirty librarian thing going on. I love her. She's pretty funny. She's pretty good at trivia too, and um it's unfortunate she's gonna suck at fantasy football. But anyways, let's bring her on anyways. We love her. Hi, Mama. What's going on, Chica? Nothing. What's going on with you? Oh, you need to curve that bill. It's making me sick. The what? Your bill. The bill. You guys got to move into a different room. I can. You guys Is that are, better? You guys are echoing like a motherfucker. Yeah. I turned my line off. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. I can hear you like three times. I can't I hear, hear you, me. and then I hear the echo, and then I hear the echo again. Yeah, you're going to have to like move. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to move because they're echoing. Just, just come and sit in my lap. Get it over with, Jesus. Or sit next to him and just, just tilt the – use the use something. Just don't echo. It, it, it fuck, yeah. See? I don't like echo. John says I've been staying indoors. It hit 95 today. Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty hot for up there for sure. I'll give you that. All right. Uh, next up, she's a nice Navy veteran. She's been on the bar for quite a bit now. She's a beast at trivia. She's carried me at least once, probably twice. Uh, I don't know how or who I'm going to get to help me out tonight because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need somebody to put me on their back because I'm, I'm going uh, to get murdered. 
for sure. Uh, please welcome to Lauren once again. Blue, how you doing? What's new? What's happening? Oh my We're fine. We're just sitting in the AC and my knee's hurting a lot today. So. What did you do to your knee? Oh, it's just, it's always been that way. Yeah, it's always been this way. Yeah, compliments to the United States Navy. Yeah, pretty much. And we're going to Mackinac Island, so I definitely have to bring my knee brace. When oh, we go. you're going up to Mackinac, huh? Oh, I saw, I saw something. You were, you were going on a little uh, holiday, if you will. Yeah, we, we got a decent hotel in Mackinac City, and then we got the ferry tickets included with us. So we're going to go um, visit some towns up there, maybe stop by my grandma's, and then uh, go from there. Just bring the boyfriend by grandma, huh? Get the, get the okay? Yeah. I could care less, honestly. I haven't seen her in two, three years, so. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Um, so how are we going to do trivia? I know Blue wants to start trivia early these days, and, and I don't blame her, although it's not going to help me at all because I'm going to eat oh. shit anyway. So how are we going to do teams? Do we need to bring Granny in? Do I need to get Tim in or T? Are they uh, even Granny, ready? Tim, or T? Either one. Hey, Granny was supposed to like be collaborating with somebody. Was it Blue or was it, it was Alyssa? So me. it's going to be me and Blue then, I guess, huh? Yeah. Okay. All yeah, because right. she did movies and I did uh, music or something like that. She messaged me. Okay. All right. Uh, let me hit uh, hit her up and see when she's ready. Um, yeah, let me do it this way. Because for some reason when I do it on my desktop, it won't tag people. How are you doing here? Uh, oh, well, that, that's not working either. Uh, yeah. What's new, Blue? Huh? What's new? Oh, nothing. Just uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, Friday will be my last job at my. Uh, Friday will be my last day at my job. And uh -oh. then I start a new one. Ooh, oh, well, there you go. So, what are you gonna yeah. be? So, no more Subaru. No more Subaru. Oh, what are you gonna be doing now? Uh, working at a spa. Nice. Yeah. Uh oh, you're gonna be pampering yourself. I love it. Good for you. you know what? Yeah, uh, I deserve it. Wear <laughs> <laughs> Sean Watson when he comes to town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> did they play Detroit no. here? I don't know no. what they do. No, thank you. Yeah, it's worth a lot of money. Just saying. Um. Uh. Do 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 do. No, it's, okay. Hold on a second. Here, see if I can do this. There we go. All right. So Granny will be joining us shortly. Uh. Hopefully, I didn't cut off her dinner. She said she was eating dinner earlier because I thought we were. I, I expected. I expected Blue to be like forty minutes in. Like. No. We we were shopping for a bit. We actually went to the museum in Toledo, the art museum, and that was his surprise date for me. So that was really nice. Ah. Um, but we went to the museum, and then we had to get food, and my knee was hurting. I'm like, let's just go home. <laughs> and then you texted me, and I was like, well, hell, now I have to be on. <laughs> so Nice. Seven test flick killing it, though. I like it. Yeah. Good job, dude. He must like you. Yeah, he says he does. <laughs> huh? I love Blue. Oh, it's so just... You know, he remind me of sometimes... Dude, please don't take this wrong. You know Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? Yeah. Okay, you know the, the robot that by buy... Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so depressed. I <laughs> You just have this slow. It's like you'd be like, "Hey, like, Mini, I just won the lottery. What am I gonna do with all this money? God, what am I gonna do with all this fucking money? <laughs> it's so depressing. It's like, I guess I could put it toward the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I get called a. It, it, actually, it's funny. They told me that my nickname at work is Sadness off of um, Inside Out. <laughs> Oh wow! I'm stuck. Wow, <laughs> that's not nice. That's terrible. I'm like, I am not sad. I have my moments where I'm a bitch, but I'm not sad. My my cat's guarding Alyssa while she's in the bedroom, so we don't echo. We can't hear you, Minnie. He's 
been muting himself all day. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, <laughs> I think I think it's time to get a new headset. I think so too. I agree. Because it just keeps just randomly just. Because I literally have to hit this. Uh, Not muted. Ever since you it. went to, ever since you came back from the reunion, your mic's been foobard. Well, that's yeah, that's really true. Funny. Yeah. Oh. That's, yeah, it's half. I, I got a little ragey. It happens. <laughs> Fucking World of Tanks, man. Those Belarusians are just evil. I'm telling you, those they're Belarusian coders that they don't like Marines. They don't. They 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 play games with me all week. Sixty five, seventy percent win ratio. Today, twenty eight percent. Damn. Yeah. Do you tell me that's not? There's no bias in that algorithm. Of course there is. There has to be. <laughs> And that's why just raging. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so it cost me one monitor, three keyboards, four mice, and three headsets. You know, I have a lot of gamers that do that kind of seriousness. Me, it's just like, I'm, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. You know what? And, and I get really good. And then and then I kind of have this very just take it as it comes. Take it as it comes. Usa, usa. And then it starts going to shit and I start raging. And it's just. I can't compete with much anymore. I haven't played baseball in like, I don't know, seven or eight years when my shoulder just wouldn't allow me to. I hate golf. I hate golf. Uh, you know, so what else is there left for me to compete at? You know, fantasy football, which is, you know, a few months a year. Uh, fantasy baseball is a nightmare. I don't know how people actually do it. My father in law does it. God bless him. He's gotten socks because that's every day you got to be on that making decisions. It's like, uh, Granny's so knocking on the door. Oh, she is. All right, all right, cool. So we can get uh, we can get trivia going here real quick. I'm gonna do uh, CMH of the week. Please welcome everybody, the host of Vets talk, chatting with Granny Lisa. Granny Lisa, how you doing, sweetie? What's new? What's happening? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm good. glad to be here. Yeah, we're gonna do some trivia here. I'm gonna read a uh, Congressional Medal of Honor citation, and uh, let's see if I can find the latest one. Uh, yeah, this was okay. This is Korea. This works. All right. So this uh, Congressional Medal of Honor citation goes to William Thompson, ranking organization as Private First Class, United States Army, 24th Company, uh, 24th Infantry Regiment, 25th Infantry Division uh, near Hong Korea, 6 August 1950. Uh, citation reads as follows. First class Thompson distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action against the enemy. Whilst platoon was reorganizing under cover of darkness, fanatical enemy forces in overwhelming strength launched a surprise attack on the unit. Private First Class Thompson set up his machine gun in the path of the onslaught and swept the enemy with withering fire, pinning them down momentarily, thus permitting the remainder of his platoon to withdraw to a more tenable position. Although hit repeatedly by grenade fragments and small arms fire, he resisted all efforts of his comrades to induce him to withdraw. Steadfastly remained as a machine gun, and he continued to deliver deadly and accurate fire until mortally wounded by an enemy grenade. Private mm -hmm. First Class Thompson's dauntless courage and gallant self-sacrifice reflect upon the highest credit upon himself and uphold the esteemed traditions of military service. All right. God damn, that's gangster. You know, I think part of that was... I'm staying because I got to get my boys apart was I've got 20 pieces of shrapnel on my legs and I'm not running anywhere, you idiots. So I'm just going to stay here and put my finger on the trigger till they get me or the barrel melts. I mean, come on. They, they said they hit him with several freaking uh, grenades, so he probably wasn't going anywhere anyway. So screw it. I'm going to go gangster. Um, I'm sure there's been a few CMH winners that are just like, I just, uh, this is, this is how it's going to end, boys. All right, so to PFC Thompson, to all those who paved the way for us, to those who served to the left and the right of us, the blood and the mud and the peace and the boredom, to those crazy enough to fall in our footsteps, to those we lost in far-off lands, and to those we lost at home to the demons. They simply could not outrun the bar that ready to get. Salute ya. Prost. Andre. Oh. Boy, that Jameson Stout stuff is evil. 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 Oh, Chris says, I'm sad. Back to work on Monday after a month off. Yeah, that's got to suck. That's got to suck. That's like the last day of vacation when you're like in the Bahamas or Jamaica or something. And you're like, you know, you got to go back the next day on a plane. And you're like, it's the, oh, it's the worst. Coming back to Florida for a week. 
last oh. year. And I legit bawled as soon as we hit Michigan. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Jade Lopez checking in. What's up, short round? What's up, y'all? Evening beaches. Trying to say hello. Salute. Hell yeah. How's it going? Let's do what's happening, Jade. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Jade, a uh, former co host of the bar back in the day. Well, I really didn't back in the day. It was like a year and a half ago, maybe at the most. Yeah, combat cricket. Yeah, the combat cricket. You put her in, your, in the back of your rucksack and she can fire her 240. Uh, or saw, two point saw, you know, cover your six with the, because she's about, I don't know, this tall in real life. Not really. Yeah. Five one maybe. But yeah, you can, I can, I can carry her and a two four. <laughs> and she just, just spin her around. Just spin her, just like that. Uh, all right. So I think we've got our trivia crew together. It's going to be Granny and Mama and Blue is going to have to carry me like. Always. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing tonight because I ain't got shit. She's gonna have to totally carry me. Oh, Jay says five nada. Oh, I, well, I gave you a couple inches. Shit. Bad. Five nada. Five nada. That's funny. Alrighty. Team names. Uh, you already know ours. Oh, you sticking know. in the same granny? It sounds good to me. So it's warrior princesses. That's what she wanted last week, so we'll stick that. Blue, blue calls it. I mean, she wants to go with Dirty Sanchez or or pigs in a bug. I don't know, Dirty Pigs. I don't know. She, it's her call. You don't even work. <laughs> we can just call ourselves hitchhikers at this point. Hitchhikers works. All right, hitchhikers. Okay, hitchhikers. hitchhikers. <laughs> I gotta keep sharing the show out, by the way, but that's alright. I can do that from here. That's fine. All right. Uh, so, what are we gonna do? What do we usually do? Toss up. Toss up question. Alrighty. Okay. What was the name of the basset hound from Smokey and the Bandit? I got it, Fred. Yes. Alrighty. Hitchhikers gets to go first. Good. Alrighty. So we're going to go music first. <laughs> Between 1970 and 1979, this R&B singer released six studio albums. Who was it? Oh, my God. Oh... There's so many people are running through my head, Blue. I actually. Um. I. I have a couple ideas, but you tell me if you. I'm drawing a blank. I I, I want to say Marvin Gaye for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, that's, that's it. Was... Oh. That was it for season. <laughs> wow. Going... You don't have it. I know it. I was going Marvin Gaye or like, like uh, I thought Stevie Wonder popped in my head for a second. Like, I you know, was... very briefly, Michael Jackson popped in my head, but I was like, no, I don't think that's it. I think he was still a kid at that point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Hitchhikers. In 1978, One Nation Under a Groove was released by this group. What's the name of the group? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, Parliament Funkadelic. Yep. Uh, I, I want to know that. I was thinking Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> you never seen PCU? That's really the only reason I know that. Uh, John says I was 11 in 1978. Well, I was two, bro. I wasn't here. <laughs> yes. No, I wasn't even. Okay, Hitchhikers. This artist is widely referred to as the godfather of soul. Oh, Who is on. it? That's, oh. um, uh, uh, oh, um, gotta hurt myself. Oh, uh, um. James Brown. Eric, thank you. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> I was, like, thinking, hurt myself, hot tub, Eddie Murphy. Then I went to Blues Brothers. I'm like, I'm going to get there eventually. <laughs> It's gonna take a while. 
Oh, my brain works like in 1970 shot. hitchhikers. Yes. In 1971, Jesus. this artist wrote and produced Man in Black. Who was it? Man in Black. Man in Black. Got it. Got it. He did. Jesus. Yeah, Johnny Cash. Oh yep. fuck. Okay. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. You know what's funny is that Jason just looks at me, he's like, how much, how fucked up is he? And I'm like, he hasn't even been drinking yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. What was the best selling album oh my in the U.S. in 1970? Hitchhikers. Oh my God. Can we get a hint? <laughs> You don't um, need a hint. It's fucking obvious. Is it? Because you yeah. said the answer. I know it. <laughs> I'm doing a blank. I don't know. Um, I really need a fucking hint. This is favor. I have no idea. I'm just throwing shit. Okay, the only hint I will give you, there's two of them. No. <laughs> Peaches and cream? No. <laughs> no. We got it. Wait, it was the album or the group? Best the only, selling the only duo the, but selling album, album. Oh, I don't, in I, 1970. I don't know. I know. I know who it is, but I don't know the album. I, I remember my dad making me watch them at just, just throw, throw something out there. Because I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. I, I don't know the album. I, I just know the, I just know the, the, the entity behind it. I don't know the name of the. Pass, album. pass, pass. Anyway. Yes. Yeah, we're best. Okay. Do I get a half point? <laughs> I know who it is. I just don't know the name of the album. <laughs> okay. Well, we're Trevor Water by Simon and Garfunkel. Well, now he... Uh, yep. Yeah, I knew who it was. I just didn't know who it was. She Googled it. I saw her. I did not! It's on my paper! No. Right there! On my paper! We came We came back from lunch. She said, I got to study. We got trivia. And I said, I'm sitting over here. You sit over there. I don't want you to look my answers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chris Van Wobbles. Has got to be honest, I did not study at all, so... <laughs> Okay. We did good. We good. It's fine. We're, we're doing okay. It's five to one. I studied right. hard. I did it. Did not, not like I did last week. And we All righty. Warrior princesses. Uh -oh. In 1971, this band released Sticky Fingers. The Rolling Stones. Who was it? All right. <laughs> I can fucking do that shit. I guess I'm not as bad as I thought I was, but... I had that one. <coughs> yep, now y'all are going to start hating life because here's the hard shit. Yeah, I'm really not going to like you. <laughs> what ye okay, Warrior Princesses. What year was the jam formed? Fuck. Uh, you the jam? The jam. Bam. Black Betty? Bam Lamb? Yeah. What year? Yes. <laughs> Shut up, Minnie. I don't know. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking. I'm gonna fucking. I wish I had like a magic eight ball. It sounds like he's holding a massive shit. He's. <laughs> Ray, I don't. I don't know this one. I don't remember writing this down. Do you know it at all? I was thinking 1974. Are you guys in, in agreement with that answer? I'll go with that because I don't have it written down anywhere. Hitchhikers, the question is yours. Oh, man. Oh, I got a guess. Like, Blue, do you know? Or do you have any idea? Or uh, what? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what, what, what year was the jam formed? 
you know, Black Betty. Oh, Black Betty. Bam. Wasn't it 32? Yep. Good job. Well, that, I don't Good know. Job. <laughs> Good job. All right. Hitchhikers. Yeah. Lay Freak in 1978 was a funk disco song released by this band. Oh my god, I should fucking know well, this. It's like every fucking wedding ever. The Freak. The Freak. Shit, shit. Freak out. I mean, come on, I got fucking shit. It's a female band, I remember that. Yeah. It's gotta be late 70s because it's super disco-y, right? Like, yeah. No, I gave you the year. I need the band. Oh, 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 uh, uh. Uh, oh, I'm out of it. Here we are. Uh, wait. Oh, fuck. Maybe not. That's too simple. I, I'm drawing a blank on that one. Chick, so. chick, 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 chick. No. Okay. Okay. Warrior princesses. Unless Blue's got a better answer. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. So go into Warrior princesses. Oh, oh, fucking shit. I just fucking thought of another answer, but that's all right. It's all good. You, got, you can't get it all right? Do you have it? I don't. I never I, even... I think, it's, I think it might... Here, correct me if I'm wrong. This is between me and her. Not a, We're not final answer. It's a sister sledgewater or something like that? Mm. No. Fuck, I wish I would have thought. Sledge, I, My brain works in mysterious sisters, ways when it sledge, does actually work. Or ses, Sledge Sisters? No, it's Sister Sledge. Sister Sledge is a group, but... Yeah. They're, it's a female yeah. group. Oh, you think it is? Yeah, that's what I I'll think give, I'll is. give you guys all a hint. Oh. My freak only has one female in it, and she's the singer. <laughs> oh, oh. And it's not who last names thinking. only count. Yeah, it's not who I was thinking either. It's not. It was the okay. Say the question again. The freak. Lay, Lay freak in 1978 was a funk disco song released by this band. What's the band? The band. Yeah, yeah he's I thought it was a person. I did too. Yeah, okay, if it's, are you wanting the band itself? What's up, Bill? Good day. I or you want I gave you the, I gave you the song. I need the band, because it's a band that did the song. Fuck. I don't get the question. It doesn't, that doesn't even Okay. The Freak was released. Uh -huh. In 1978, what band performed La Freak? I don't know. I don't know the name of the band. I'm trying to think of the singer. Um, I don't know. We'll take a hit. Unless you can come up with a band name. I'm thinking. I know the name. I know it, and I can't think of the name of it. Oh, well, explain it to me. I don't know it, Tim. I wish I did. <laughs> explain what you're seeing. I can. I, I, I'm picturing the song, because... The singer is a tall, dark girl. Yeah, and I can't think of her name. Oh, my God. Okay, naming the singer won't help because it's a band. Oh, okay. All right. And they are all black. I'll give you that. It's yeah. like, oh! oh. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I did write this down. Wait, 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 wait. One of the first I wrote down. Cheek. Or whatever the hell. However the Oh, you being the one in the chat? Is it? It's, um, 
Cheek check. I already said Why? that. No. I already said that. No. Oh man. Yeah, that was my first guess. Like right. Hey, on think side. about it. It's the seventies. They were stupid. Lay freak released. Lay freak. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. Oh man, that is not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. That is it is so, it's still warrior processes. That was a trick question. That wasn't fair. This Kate Bush. Okay. This is for Warrior Princesses. This Kate Bush song oh my God. was based on an Emily Bronte novel. What was the novel? I know this. This is actually on a trivia question that I did look at, I think. I thought this is oh, like. Oh, fucking that. Jesus, come on. This is fucking easy. I just thank God for my wife and her English novels. Oh, sure. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> shut the fuck up, bro. That's why you're not in the show right now, because I know you're going to fucking tell people. Warrior Princess, waiting on an answer. Hold on a second. Hey, we were patient with you, Minnie. Oh, I didn't take this long. Oh, oh so look, you guys went back and forth forever on something. Kaya, four, four, four. You're just bored, and that's why you want to get back to you. Exactly. I got fucking ADHD is kicking in. Which I don't have, but I'm using that to make you feel guilty. You have ADHD when you're drinking, Minnie. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. It trips a switch, for sure. Ouch, my elbow. What was the question again? Oh, Emily my... Bronte song, Kate Bush, right? Mm -hmm. This Kate Bush song is based on an Emily Bronte novel. What was the novel? Was it Withering Heights, do you think? Oh, my God. That's it. Yay! Stop. Stop. <laughs> Okay, this is the last question for music. Oh, yay. <laughs> a warrior princess. Oh, shit, fuck. In 1979, oh, boy. One Step Beyond was the debut album for this band. What was the band? Oh. All my fucking questions. Oh, I hate you sometimes. I, really do. I still love you, though. Don't Stupid. worry. Yeah. I got fucking 12 pages <laughs> of notes. Still. <laughs> Can't rock this shit. Repeat the question. Again. Again. One Step Beyond yeah. was the debut album for this group. What's the group? Oh my god, no. What do you have on uh what do you have on uh Boston? On what? Anything on Boston? Uh Boston came out in nineteen seventy. Yeah. Nineteen seventy nine. Seventy nine, okay. Oh Shoot. boy. Uh Oh, 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 uh, oh, what about, uh, Mama? Huh? What about Doobie Brothers? Dude, I, Blue, yeah. like, I swear to God. One Step Beyond was the name of the song or the album? The album. One Step Beyond is the name of the album and the song by this group in 1979. I'm gonna throw a it's their debut album. Debut. What's the group? Okay. Madness. 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 Yep. Fucking hell. Yay! 
I found it. I wrote it down. <laughs> okay. I get this. I'm gonna rip their fucking heads off because it's popped in my fucking now, fucking reason. They, well, now my we're moving over to movies. Oh, even better. Yep. <laughs> Every answer is the answer. Warrior Princesses. What was the original name of the Halloween series going to be? Oh, fucking. Oh, shoot. Uh, I didn't look that up. And Blue is what? eagerly awaiting the answer yeah, to answer this question. Oh, he's over there. I know she is. I, know she is. I watched he the same documentary she I has. I've heard this before on trivia before on the show. And I want to say, um, Mama, what do you think on Slash Slasher? Does that sound familiar? Do you remember hearing that? I need another show. No. I don't either. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. I didn't um, even write that down. I know he's I know I've heard it before, but I don't know. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I heard it. <sighs> Where'd she go? I don't know. I want to go look on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Link to it right now. Fuck it. But I'll be fair. Yeah. Just give it to Blue because I don't think either one of us knows. It was a scary movie. A scary movie? I'm going with blue. I Wait, it has to do. It had to do with. I know murders was part of the name. I know that. Oh, fuck. You got ten seconds, and then I'm giving it to blue. Oh, the babysitter murders. Good Something job. like that. Is that right? Yeah. That's that's right. Damn it. <laughs> no. Wow, blue! Wow, oh, damn, blue got this is shit. Yeah, because that's her fucking jam, man. That's her genre. I, don't think another show. I had to throw something. I had to I throw a couple great. in there for blue. It's like fucking. Okay. Um. Yeah. Exactly. Alrighty. Warrior princesses. Yes. Name the actor that portrayed Polly. In the Rocky movies. Mm-hmm. Got it, Kenny? Did you hear that one? Mm-hmm. Hello? Mm-hmm. Hola, que tal? Mi amo es Paco. What was the question? Who played Polly in the Rocky movie? Who, which one? Name, name the actor that portrayed Polly. In the Rocky movies. Oh, I got that answer. Which okay, thank you. Which year? Or does it matter? All of them. He was in all of them. He was in all of them. Right, but I'm just like I have everything written down by year. So forgive me. Okay. Adrian. Are you ready? No. First job. Good job. Un fucking believable. You know what? Do what? You had to have something about Rocky in there. Yeah, I said I have everything written by year, so that's why it took me a minute. Okay. Since Granny Lisa is being so hardcore in the paint, um, for Warrior Princesses, how many movies did Barbara Streisand do in the seventies? Oh God. Three. Nope. Blue and mini. Oh my Let me god. I, I, I mean, I can't stand the woman, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she, she fucking I'll just throw her out six. I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. She what, didn't what, do what, any. what did they say? How many movies was. He said three. How many movies did Barbara Streisand no, do in the is, 70s? What did the, the princesses say, whatever the fuck. Yeah, we said three. You said three, so. Yeah, three. She didn't do any. 
<laughs> See, I feel like I'm Granny's like, trolling I'm, us. I don't fucking know. Five. I, I'm guessing because everybody thought she was a great singer and actress back then too. Okay. We'll go with Your five. choices are one, five, or nine. Five. 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 No. 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 Okay. Stuck. It's, is it back to us? No. You got it wrong. No. Got it wrong. Nobody got. Right. Nobody got it right. Okay. What's it was the correct zero. Answer? No, it's nine. Holy nine? Shit. Yeah. Nine movies. I thought you nine. said five. She's not that bad. One, five, or nine movies. Ah, okay, nine. sorry. Nine movies. John Woodrow says, including her porno. Yikes. Yeah. It's weird, I didn't see any of them on the list. Her pornos or any of her movies? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just wondering. Just I didn't know she wow, did okay. pornos. I, I didn't either. To be honest no, with I you. don't think she did. I think it was when she had her nasal surgery. I feel, I feel really weird talking about porn with somebody named Granny Lisa. Okay, so here we go. Warrior Princesses. How many movies did John Travolta participate in? Oh my god! In the seventies. Okay. Your choices are. Your choices are. Zero, six, or sixteen. Doesn't mean that he had to star in them either. Participate. Correct. Um, six. That's correct. Holy shit balls. Are we fucking tied up now? Uh, no. You're getting your ass kicked. Bullshit! We had six. They had only caught our passes by like one or two, maybe. You had, okay, many. You we guys had, had five. We had six. No, we had five. The toss-up start question doesn't count. What the fuck that does? Yeah, fuck it does. That doesn't. No, that just means you get to answer the questions. Oh, That's why it's the toss up question. Go on, moving on, moving on. So we'll so call so it. So so okay. What year did the original Freaky Friday come out? Oh, my God. Warrior Princesses. No idea. Like I said, I was going to get slaughtered. Freaky Friday, 72. Final answer. Freaky Friday with Jodie Foster, correct? No. That's not... Is that what you're talking about, that movie? The original Freaky Friday. What year was it released? Mama, I'm not sure. Do you have a good guess? You said 72. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we'll go with 72. Okay, 72. Okay, Hitchhikers, your question. Blue, do you got this one? I think it's 76. It is. That's correct. My birth year. Ah. It's our birth year. Hmm. Is it the one with Jodie Foster, though? No. Nope. It's, um, no, yeah, it was. Yeah, it no. was. Jody Foster was in it. Was she? I don't Freaky think so. Friday? Yeah. The, probably the newer one, but not. No, the newest one was, was uh, what's her name? Coke it was and, uh, uh, Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. Lindsay Lohan and, and, uh, and the. Uh, what's her name? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can picture okay. her face. Yeah. Hitchhikers. Louise Fletcher won an Oscar for Best Actress in this 1970s classic movie. What was the movie? Louise Fletcher? Uh, never. Best Actress. Never fucking. I, I, uh... 
Oh, Jesus. I don't know. And you all, and everybody's getting a hint. Oh. It's based off of a book. What was the year? Well, that narrows it. <laughs> I didn't give a year. I just said 70s. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, just a minute. Louise what? Fletcher. Louise Fletcher. Oh, oh Louise. Okay, just a best actress. I'm trying to think of other movies okay, she's in. I'm trying to work backwards. Reverse engineer it because I don't fucking know. She's still she's done movies. She passed away. She's really. been acting since the six since the early sixties. <laughs> yeah. She used to be like super no. hot. She was a yeah, model. She was, she was a hottie for sure. I remember that. Her eyes. She had beautiful eyes, blue eyes, if I remember correctly. Uh oh, no fucking way. No. I, I, wait, is it ours or is it theirs? It's, it's you guys. Ours. It's yours. It's yours. For all right, I've only watched this movie like fifty fucking times. Well, then name it, dude, because I'm drawing a blank right now. I, I, all right, the only reason I know it is because. Kirk Douglas wanted to play the lead, but he's too old, so it ended up being Jack Nicholas. It's got to be one flew over to Cuckoo's Nest. That's it. There you go. Thank that you. was one Thank of the freaking trivia questions that I actually looked at yesterday. Oh, Way to go, Chief. Yep. I didn't even know who the list threw a shit. Okay. Funny part, besides the funny part about that, guess who's the producer, of, one of the producers of One Who Flew okay, Over to Cuckoo's Nest was? Question, Michael Douglas. Question, just good question. When are we getting these damn trivia questions to study? Because I didn't know this. I'm just winging this shit, honestly. Oh, we put it in the chat. I put we put it out in the chat last week. Like I guess I didn't see it. No, uh -huh. it goes through because people we talk shit and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I will you know what? I will I will copy. I will it. personally it's email it. I will message you personally so you get it. Okay, because like I said, I'm just pulling this shit out of my ass mm -hmm. and whatnot. That's how I was last week. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, that's uh, probably the only one I'm gonna get because that the only way you usually go when you go to a bar is you pull it out of your ass. This is true. So, this is for hitchhikers. Oh, boy. Uh, what year was the original Star is Born released? What? Star is Born. Oh, oh fucking no. I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> Star is Born? Star what? Star is Born. Star is Born. Got this, but no. The 1940s. Born. Well, it's the 1970s. Not our, if the not category, if the category is the 70s, it can't be the 1940s. Well, that's the original is in the 40s. No. That's a that's a star is born. I said star is born. Not a star. A star. How many times did they? Yes. A star is born. 1940s. With Judy Garland. This isn't a star is born. It's star is born. Oh, that's different. Yeah, I still don't know, though. <laughs> Lady Gaga wasn't even an uh, egg. <laughs> he wasn't even. Yeah. Neither was Bradley Cooper. He wasn't even a sperm. Yeah. We asked what year? Yeah. Yeah, what year was it released? Take a stab, Blue, because I don't have a fucking clue. 77, I think. Yeah, 77. I'm, I'm just going to throw that. Is, is many in concurrence? I am. Um... Nope. What are your princesses? You know, you know when you're right, when you guess an answer, he usually gives it. He's like, yep. <laughs> Usually he does. He usually goes, yep, you got it. And when you say, like, 1970s, and he doesn't start to go, it's pull back. Just pull back, because you're not right. They said 75, correct? We said, they 70. said 77. No, I think it's 75. I'm earlier than that. I'm trolling right? on the dick. Yeah. Mm. And that's no? with the Barbara Streisand. And Christopher, yeah. uh, and I think that was seventy-five. No, no, no. When was the uh, song come out? Do you have that? 
I'm not talking about a song. I want the movie. I know, but if you want the song. I have something written down for this movie. You're, but, you're getting too far involved into the question. I just want the year it was released. 76. Good job. There you go. <laughs> I heard that. I'm just blasting David Kett in my head right now. I don't even give a shit at this Okay. Point. Whatever. Warrior Princesses. Who wrote and directed Close Encounters? Ooh, okay. Oh, fucking that. shit. I got that one. What was the question? I'm sorry. Who wrote and directed Close Encounters? Oh. For, it's for Warrior Princesses. You guys get the thing. Damn. Over. They got this. I mean, they better. Just a minute. Call for shots. Okay. The director uh, is Steven Spielberg. And okay, that's part of the question. Who yes. wrote and directed it? Steven Spielberg. Mama? Who wrote and directed it? And what yeah. was the second part of the question? Who wrote and directed Close Encounters? Who wrote it? Okay. Oh. oh. I didn't write that down. And I got hearing aids. Hey. <laughs> oh, you realize that, right? Hmm. This... Oh, <laughs> this is fucked up. Dude, you're so... <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not even getting She's it. got kids, yo. Right? <laughs> Who, Anne Hesh? Yeah. She's a clan bumper. All I got is the director. I don't have who wrote it. Well, I do. He wrote and directed it. Thank you, Blue. Yeah. I said that on both of them. And you said... you. I said Steven Spielberg, and then you said who wrote it. I you said, kept saying you kept saying director. I when you said who wrote it, I said Steven Spielberg. Ugh. you don't have your hearing no. aids up. I can't imagine asking him for a no shaving shit in the field. Like, what exactly do you want? Like, do you I want think we get a redo because I said a both redo. Of There's no redos. <laughs> I was making sure that you concurred with. Your partner. <laughs> the really part. I'm good, yeah. I said to both of them, no. I need another shot. I need another shot. Like I need a hole in the head right now. Uh, yeah, it's correct. Thank you. Uh, I never gave a no-shape shit, ever. Sorry, I got one. <laughs> uh, okay. In 1979, Bullshit. Danny Glover... Made his film debut in this movie. What's the movie? Danny Glover. And it's for war. And it's for warrior princesses. Danny Glover. God, I'm gonna go. Oh, fuck off! No, it can't be that easy. Definitely can't be that easy. I can picture the movie. I can't think of the name. Oh. Well, that wasn't it. I'll be on a See, Granny's got a helper. I do not. I have my. Yeah, uh, my your note. husband's like, like a trivia genius. I know he is. I don't. My husband's dead. Oh, no, I'm right. Okay. <laughs> Giving me a hard time. I will give it right back to you, youngin. Good girl. Good girl. I swear okay. to God, I fucking know this, but now it's now I don't. Know. Okay, so it's not, right. it's not, it's not a. Um, okay. Do you have any idea, Mama? Because I have I a guess. No, I picture him in the movie. I can't think of the name of it. Okay, Minnie, you is, know it? is it a war? That was movie? a little loud. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you don't see him in the war movie. You know that's what I was thinking. To be honest. I was thinking Apocalypse Now. No. He, okay. He's in a brown suit in the movie that I'm thinking of. 
<sighs> okay, Man, we I... lost it. No, are you sure? Are you done? Because I fucking have a... I don't fucking know. I... Yeah, I, I, I any I, guess I, what I was gonna guess. I'm now I gotta change my well, fucking mind. Unless that was Sydney Portier, but I think she was thinking of uh Lawrence Fishburne because that's who I thought of first. Like, it's not... yeah, I don't know. Well, it's you guys because we don't know. Yeah, do you know, Blue? I'm thinking, I, mean... I got an idea. I don't. My stepdad was like a nut about this movie, and some reason I don't know. Well, throw it out there because I'm I'm kind of drawing a blank at the moment. Yeah. <sighs> it's his first starring role ever. This oh. is not right. This is not right. Oh fuck! It's not right. Then fuck it. They didn't get it. He, uh, you he, don't know. Uh, escape from Albuquerque. Yeah. yeah, that's Holy it. Shit. What is it? Good job, Minnie. Escape, escape from Alcatraz. That was going to be my good. next guess. Oh, my man. stepdad was obsessed with it. He, 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 that was going to be my next guess. He told me like five okay. times that they had to shoot this that for, like twice. because for hitchhikers. What year did Alien come out? Oh, fuck. I got that one. Oh, oh. Fucking blue. Come on. This is like your, your shit. It's, I mean, it's not Halloween, though, I guess. <laughs> and then, uh, I think it was 78. Fuck. It had to have been the late 70s. I know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> boom. Tim said boom. Tim said boom. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick with 78 right now. Hey, we're princesses. You guys get it. Oh, 1979. Fuck. Yep. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> this is the last and final question of the 22 questions. <laughs> All right. What year did Willy Wonka come out? Oh, my oh, God. Fuck. My wife was here right now. She would have jumped through the fucking monitor. She, actually, my son actually loves watching the original one over the Johnny Depp one. He actually <laughs> ignores it. <laughs> he wants to watch the original one. Oh, some of the best memes in the universe have come from the Willy Wonka fucking uh, original. I have a guess. Mama, do you want to hear it? Yeah. I can't even 1977. remember. 1977. You should know this. I did it for our flute. Oh. Uh, who the hell? I'm trying to think of the. I can't even. Did you say 77? Was it Gene Wild? No. Yeah, Gene Wild. Yeah. Was it, was it Gene Wild? Okay. I yeah. I was going for a different Gene. But. Oh, but I, 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 think, I was thinking Gene. I think earlier than that, actually, because it was it's pretty old. Yeah, let oh, me tell you. Let me go back to when he was doing some uh, some movies because usually it takes about a, a year, and he did Blazing Saddles and Young Frankenstein in 1974. Yeah, but I think he did it before that. So let's go with. I think no. What? I think he did it before then. You want to do seventy three? Because usually they do every two years. But he did, like I said, in seventy four. He did Young Frankenstein. He did Blazing Saddles. Hey, Richie, welcome back, my brother. No, but I think he did it earlier than that. I think he was. I think it was before that. If I remember correctly from when we watched the movie. 1970? I'm going to say, I, I'm thinking like 71 or something like that. Let's do 70. That's it. With it. Ah, oh, fuck, man. For real? Yeah. Shit. I knew the date, damn it. You were good. Yeah, I could have got to it. 
like after three minutes. <laughs> we did good minutes. together. Thank you. Work you it, so work much. it down eventually. You know. <laughs> Is it 77? No, I don't think so. 69? No. Is this like 72? No, no, no. 74? No. 78? No. I said no, blazing saddles. I know. <laughs> you're right. you know but it took you, know. you five minutes to reverse engineer the question. So what? Uh, it, well, we're, we're going to put Are a timeline on it next week. Are you going anywhere right now? Yes. Where are you going? To hell. Very soon, hopefully. So, final score, yeah, Hitchhikers. We got it. Warrior Princess is 11. Mm. Woohoo! Came out of the gate swinging like gangsters. And because I'm in such a good mood, I will give you the start question so you actually got nine. Ooh. That's fucking That's right. like batting 299. Thanks. <laughs> Dick. Good job. Really? Man. Those are good questions. All right. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> yeah, Bring exactly. them in. So they were gonna give you a rashish crap. They were. This is the worst freaking like ever. Like <laughs> yeah, I could ever participate. I told you. I told you two days ago I was gonna get my ass kicked. Okay. Good job. I'm gonna man. be a nice guy. Yeah. Good before job. everybody leaves. Mm -hmm. Trivia for next week. Oh God. Please. And Glue better be here for this. Oh boy. It, better be it is crime and horror movies. Oh, yeah, From the 19, 1920s to now. So wait, Ooh, the I 20s? Know. All right. Wow. Will you get the horror? I'll get the crime. Dude, just pass it all to me. Take <laughs> this one. <laughs> she's, she's taking it. I got wow. the crime. All right, if you want to double duty, you can, but I'll, I got the crime stuff. All right, fine. I'll get the horror. All right. Yeah, crime. I mean, it's just like, all right. Narrow it down. Like, crime's a little... Uh, well, am hey. I supposed to be back next week? Or you want to do are... trivia next week? Yes, you're absolutely more than welcome. I mean, well, you and Alyssa got this thing going. Tim sucks. Tim sucks. Well, Tim will lose anyway, so at this ready. point, you're fine. I love him. I love him. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> As he pops on the screen. Oh, I put. I did that. On, I did that for a reason because I know he's gonna come and throw some <laughs> shit at me. Probably be good. I mean, maybe. Well, kick her ass with the floor apart. So it's whatever. Uh, all right. So crime, crime. Like what? Crime. Major crimes, like mafia. What? All sorts of crimes, bull. Oh, that, well, that's crime a big movies. Thing. Crime movies. Oh, it's probably like uh, movies. No, a bit, a bit vague is, hi, I'm going to do a sci-fi movie trivia question. Wow, that's really vague. That is really. All right, 20s to present crime movies. It's done. Okay. done. Yeah. And what's the other one? Uh, horror. Horror and crime. Horror and crime. Horror. Okay. Mama, yeah. From 1920s to now. Or know. do you want to both of us do it, and then we'll have a mixture? No, you and Alyssa are a team. Me and Blue are a team. This is set. This is a grudge match. There's personal shit going on. Grudge match. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back in Pennsylvania next week. So, you know, we won't say it's rigged anymore. I didn't say it was yeah. rigged. John yeah. Winter said it was rigged. <laughs> See? There's a comment. <laughs> I don't think it was rigged. Uh, He's sleeping with the judge. It was already stacked. <laughs> <laughs> Upon notes. When we came back from lunch, I sat down at the table and started studying. I, I took a nap. I took a nap. I'm going to walk the dog. She was sitting at the table studying. I'll, I'll pass the hell out. I told everything on my ass because nobody gave me a study guide. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll tell you. You got the hard study guide. You got it now. <laughs> Okay, so do you want right. war or do you want um, crime? Um, I thought I'll... we just did that at another time. Yeah. Okay, that well, sounds then kinky I'm going to head out. Love you, Hi, guys. Granny. Glad you there. got to see me. Are you going to come back in here now, Alyssa? Trivia's done. We no. Show camera. When you guys echo. You guys echo so bad. She's gonna log out with me and, and I'm gonna be on. Um, no, seriously, when you guys are in the same room, you guys echo. She turned off her computer. 
Okay. Florida's going to be on the one computer. Yeah, we're just going to be on the one system. Pterodactyl. Yo. Where's your damn cheese stick? That was hot as hell. I ate. I ate. I, ate <laughs> I don't have a. But, so have you're not food. shooting for like three weeks? What in the hell's going on with that? Like that. I don't, Jesus I, sakes, I mean, bro. I mean, the pictures in the uh, in the bar chat. So I guess Minnie could always pull it up later. I don't have the. I, I don't have the. I don't have the ability to put stuff up on screen anymore. So. Where did you even get that? Where were you? Like. Were you in Italy? Uh, like that was no, that was in West Dallas, West Dallas, okay. Wisconsin, at a place called Alfonso's the Original, which my daughter wow. found this on TikTok that they have the world's largest mozzarella sticks. So she wanted I to agree. stop and get them, and then uh, so then yeah, we got the two of them. They're like two pound, two pound mozzarella sticks, and dude. I finished mine, but she only ate like half of hers, and then I ended up eating the other half of hers today. Did you hear that, Doc? He took two and a half pounds down the gullet. Three pounds. Wow. Yeah. Three pounds of mozzarella. That's a fucking you know, ring right there. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it was deep fried and served with marinara sauce. <laughs> it's not like I was just eating blocks of I mean, I love cheese, but like that, so, even for me... That's, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, uh, yeah. And then I I took the picture when I while I was eating it that, and it was like, oh man, it looks like I got that like dildo that Kiana had when they started that uh, that slumber party. Show yeah, that she had on the first yeah. night. Like, you were totally, you were totally remaking that whole scene. We know. Well, it was like, yeah, it was like, um. <laughs> it's like I, biting into that thing, like the picture, like the veins of my neck are all sticking up because it's so wide. And I had to hold it like this. So it's like Argh. everything you're doing right now is horrible. <laughs> Pretty gay. <laughs> Please, yeah, I, I cannot wait until we replay this. It's, that's going to be phenomenal. But, no, yeah. so anyway, wait, where is that close to? Uh. It's on Greenfield Avenue in West Dallas. So, I mean, West Dallas is basically a suburb of Milwaukee. Actually, okay. West Dallas okay. is kind of busy right now because the state fair is going right on right now in the state fair parks down there, uh, right next to the Pettit Ice Center, Pettit National Ice Center. All right. Which I hate that ice rink, but whatever. I mean, the speed the speed skating track is nice. That's what they like the Olympic speed skating team practices there, but then. We got a couple of hockey rinks in the middle of it. So, like, whenever my daughter has to play there, it's, like, freezing in there because you're in the middle of the speed skating track where the two wow. ice rinks are. I mean, so, it's like, ah. Uh. Why would you name an ice skating rink after Andy Pettit in the first place? He played in New York, didn't he? Uh, uh, yeah, no, it was uh, what Jane Bradley Pettit was, used to be the Bradley Center. Okay. The Bucks used to play that their family like donated all the money for that. They were big into nice. the speed skating thing, so that's why it's called the Pettit Center. All right. But yeah, I might be down in the West Dallas area again tomorrow, depending if um yeah. we go visit my nephew down at Children's Hospital. So um uh, yeah, any yeah. update? How's he doing? Uh well, so yeah, he had that brain. I've seen the pictures. Um yeah, he had cancer back in 2017. He beat cancer. It right. was like on his spine back then. Um, and then we were up at our trip in Michigan last week. Um, and Monday they had to leave early because he was getting sick and like throwing up his medicine and stuff. And they found a tumor on his brain that was like pushing on his brain. So Wednesday they did surgery. Um, luckily the tumor hadn't been... Uh, it didn't fuse with the brain, so it was kind of it was easier to take. It out. was self standing. Um, yeah, so Thank they got God. all the tumor okay. out. Um, okay, he had the scan. Now another scan since the surgery, showing that there's no more of the tumor in there. Um, and then they had a they had another scan that showed his lungs are clear, but he's got another scan coming up to check his spine again because that's where he had uh, cancer last time. So. Hopefully that all turns out fine, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, he doesn't have to do chemo and all that stuff again. 
Well, yeah. I mean, it's probably a safe bet. I mean, as terrible as it is. Yeah, yeah or hopefully. I'm going to so. go turn this light off behind me. It's fucking bright as shit. But yeah, it's, it's been a rough week because of that. So, like, actually, Sammy was supposed to be in a hockey tournament in Minnesota this weekend, but we skipped going to that to stick around and see what's going on with Henry and right. you know, praying for him. <laughs> so, and my wife's family's been lighting candles and stuff at the big church in Kiapu, which is like a suburb of Manila. So yeah. they've been they've been lighting candles and stuff for him too. So always appreciate that. <laughs> I, had, I had a big group of people I worked with in Manila. Um, when I was there, uh, I had big, great people. Oh, John with Semper sometimes. This is uh, I don't know. He's been on the bar a couple times with uh, Benny's uh, podcast. It's yep. on. Uh, you can you can watch uh, listen to it on like Spotify and stuff. Um, he's actually Benny uh, Doug Bennett. He's down in uh, in Aurora, Illinois, right now. Uh, the Marine rapper and Topher and DQ are we're all playing a concert down there in Aurora tonight. So I caught some uh, of that earlier. Yeah, I would have I would have liked to have gone down to it, but uh, yeah, too much stuff going around going on. Along he was showing it. Uh, the ra marine rapper was showing it on TikTok. The, the marine rapper was what now? Yeah. He yeah. was showing it. He was showing the concert on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, I know. They, on Instagram, they had some stuff up earlier from it too. Yep. Hi, Tim. How are you? So, I am freaking yeah. outstanding. No, it's instead of Semper. Semper Actually, I'm sitting up my ass. Says Semper sometimes, like always, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Instead of always, something. <laughs> so, uh, guess who I uh, uh, got in contact with this week? Who? Hmm. Apollo Blades. Oh, oh nice. Awesome. And uh, he hadn't posted anything in a while. I just shot a message. I was like, hey, man, what's going on? How's everything going? And uh, he got back to me, him and a uh, militant me. Apparently yeah, they have some big stuff in the works and nice. uh, should be coming out soon. So, oh yeah, we'll big have to have those guys back on again. Yeah, I know yep. Milton. Me had that uh, fighting time song song come yeah. out, come out since the last time they were on too. So, yeah. so I mean, those so, guys were just so much fun and uh, yeah, they were fun. A big shout out. So, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get them back on. Hopefully, uh, these new songs come out when. Start pushing them some more and uh, hear some more great freaking tunes. Oh, Minnie, what are you wearing? My boob shirt, man. Ah, Tim Kenny, is... Tim, Tim Kenny told me I could wear it anytime I wanted to. So guess what? I wear it. I'm wearing it on the bar every episode. It's uh, not filthy. You are filthy. I am. I miss you. I do too. I mean, it's only been like what a week. Yeah, two. I had to wash up a little bit before I came back down here. I was all burning stuff. That's why that I was so much fun, there. man. I saw a post by Russ today, and I'm like, oh, I miss him. Yeah, <laughs> I, miss I mean, him. how much fun was that? I mean, we had a blast. I oh, wish uh, you had been here the day before too. Yeah, I'm so glad you joined that night. And we, I mean, yeah. everyone. Had a great time. It was fun, man. Seeing everybody was fun. Like Andy, I fucking had so much fun back in the day with Andy. Yes. Uh, Ross, because Pook, him and Pook were super close. So, yep. you know, like, you know, I, I do miss some other guys like Dupree. I miss Mark Dupree. Like, if we like, can find any of those guys, you know, because I think we're doing Illinois next year. So. Yeah, I'll buy Andy's place, right? Yeah. Anyone yeah. that we can grab a hold of that's closer. And like, um, not in Dupree, but um, like who was the other guy that was like the massive part of our crew? Uh, oh, Blue was like, ah, she had to go. I think that's what she said. Is that what she was saying? I couldn't I understand so. what she was saying. She said, uh, like Who was the other guy that was like uh, that big? Part? Oh, Fairhurst. Fairhurst. Oh, Brent my God. Fairhurst. He's such yeah. a good. Brent is a freaking beast. He's such a good dude. He was. He went I up. Had to, so much fun with him. I got the. Sh I got the shit kicked out of me at. Uh, um, surprisingly, at uh, 
uh, what was it called? Uh, Stampede's in Temecula. Do you remember that bar? Oh yeah, oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Was still around when I, I was yeah, into. I got I got in a fight in the bar with like a five foot ninja, <laughs> and I beat. The <laughs> I heard about that. I beat the brakes. Did you remember that? Yeah, I beat the brakes off this dude. Like it was it was the most unfair fight ever, <laughs> and his Dang. friends fucking just randomly showed up at Denny's and. They're like, we're going to fuck you up. I'm like, I'm looking back. All my friends are in the last table all the way in the back. I'm like, do I run like a bitch or do I stand my ground? And I'm fucking 20. I'm not even 21. I'm 20. I'm not even supposed to be drinking, but I had a fake ID. I'm like, I'm standing my ground. Like, the one right off here. of Oceanside Boulevard? What's that? That Denny's off of Oceanside Boulevard? No, in, in Temecula. In Temecula, oh, Temecula by the Okay, the other one. Yeah, all right. yeah. So I stood my ground like a fucking idiot. I should have ran in like a bitch. <laughs> it got my voice. <laughs> I stood my ground. I got the shit beat out of me. I mean, I got one. I hit one guy in the chin, <laughs> knocked him back. Another guy grabbed me. I elbowed another dude. Apparently, I fucked him up. But the other three guys just, it was all she wrote. I mean, you just, I don't care if you're fucking a goddamn C- SEAL Team 6. You're going to lose. No, and man. I, I got the shit beat out of me. It broke my orbital bone. Right here, my oh, eyes shit. swelled shut. I lost feeling from here to the tip of my mouth, all the way across the bridge of my nose and down. And guess what I had to do that Monday morning? Drill? No. Gun qual. Rifle qual. Yep. Right. Oh, shit. However, it was my left eye that was closed. <laughs> so it really wasn't <laughs> that big of an issue. And that's when I shot range high, and that's when they made me a coach. So it kind of worked out. So get your ass kicked. So Stampede's uh, back when so Jake Bernier, who we lost shortly after he got out. That's what Stampede. Yeah, yeah. Jake Bernier, we lost him shortly after he got out. Greg Culp and him and me were pretty much inseparable for a long time. That was me and Michael Harp hunting uh, around. Me, Michael um, Harp, James Tatum. Yes, that's where we went to go uh, meet the ladies. Man, Micah Harp's a fucking nut. He's he a, is such a great football coach. Yeah. If you don't follow him, jump on there. Follow him on uh, his page. He is, he's is. he got guys going to the NFL left and right. He is such a fucking great coach. And an awesome fucking person. So. But uh, when uh, Bernier got out, the first time I karaoke, and mm-hmm. I've got a voice for when pictures. You- trust me. I'm fucking horrible. Um, I karaoke'd uh, uh-huh. at a country bar, and I did uh, Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Throw the Reaper, yeah. in uh-huh. front of a bunch of fucking rednecks. I need more cow. For, for Greg and, yeah, for Greg and fucking uh, Jake. And they're fucking at the bar laughing their asses off. I'm up there sweating my fucking balls <laughs> off. These rednecks are just fucking just staring at me. No fucking noise. Like, the place went dead fucking silent. That was my first karaoke experience. I'm not good at it. Oh, man. I, I'm not good at karaoke, but... Uh, um, Still do it. My wife loves, I, I'm, my wife not loves at, karaoke. I'm not a big... Uh, yeah, she's Filipino. Um, yeah. It kind of comes with it. You know, There's an Asian it, thing. There's an Asian connection there. Yeah. Um, she made. She said something to me the other day. Oh, uh, Tia, get a, We went to a wedding in Chicago. Um, my wife's best friend, Mallory, and uh, I don't know if I told the story before. Maybe I have. Maybe teased her before. But uh, literally, this little Filipino woman came up to me, very nice looking, very sweet, and, and uh, she's, "Oh, can I, can I hold your baby?" And I'm like, "Absolutely." And. Uh, <laughs> it's, she held our baby and watched our baby for like two hours. What? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the other thing with Filipino women. My wife's the same way. Loves loves children. He was like babies. maybe like maybe eight or nine months old at the most. I don't even think he was that old. Maybe six months. And she was just, she's like, you better watch this woman. You better, you better stand the exit. I'm like, she's Filipino. It's all good. Like she's the, 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 not to be mean about stereotypes, but like the, 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 thing, the thing with Filipino women, they love babies and they loved it and she was great and she she went she grabbed me for diapers she changed his diapers she fed him a bottle i'm like what are you doing do you, 
do you need a drink? She's like, oh, no, I'm not drinking. I'm like, well, can I give you something? She's like, no, this is great. I love it. I'm like, okay, rock on with your bad self. I'm cool with it. She was sweet as hell. So, uh, John, what, I, I get to this. So, John says, Semper something. It should be Semper something, always something. And the army dogs are always talking shit. Uh, or from Marine should say, yeah. Or yeah, sure, with their predilection for Marion Shivers. Look, it was an ex stripper piss off. All right. Many si- sh- uh, sing share songs. No, I don't. Uh, the last karaoke he saw I ever sang, I think, was uh, Sweet Home Alabama. And it was with uh, five other Marines, and I was still in active duty. Yeah, hey, you're holding on to a big diamond going, Do you believe? No, it's really good. I knew it was. It was I'll, I'll look I'll, I'll look up that picture. It was one of the dudes in the picture. It was at <laughs> it was the bar across the street. Uh, uh, um who was ready it? Ready to fall off the chair. Vasquez. Vasquez. <laughs> guy uh, just, to, just to, on the chair. You had like seven Vasquez's. Yeah, just to the left of me. He's got that big Cuban kind of mm, I'm a tough guy thing going on. Yeah, that was the last time I sang karaoke, and I think I was uh, 21 or maybe 22 years old. I've never sung karaoke since. I will. I, oh. I had to get drunk in my bar, and they get me to drink whatever the fuck and sing karaoke. It's never good. But I generally resort to, like, Kiss or something that I couldn't fuck up. I'm trying to find the last one in, they the, come. In, they come. In, in the damn. Okay. All right. So it was Pink Freud was the last one we did last week, right? Okay. Right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. So I know, I know where to start now. All right. Oh, did I reshare that? Sorry. I reshared that. No, that's, I don't know if anybody did, but let's get to, get to the goddamn memes, people. Um, oh, Let's do a yeah, shot. Uh, T. Ter- yeah. 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 Pterodactyls, yeah. it's your uh Yeah, you didn't do your hold on for a second. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't do your thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds just like a fucking pterodactyl. I remember I, back in my maybe, day. I, they'd fly through the skies. Yeah, you and I, was, like I wasn't shit. alive for pterodactyls being around, but maybe that's what they sounded like. <laughs> uh, maybe. Who knows? Uh, NFL sentences Deshaun Watson to three seasons of playing for the Cleveland Browns. Ouch. That hurts. Brother, tell your children not to walk my way. Oh. So oh like God, that's great. Level. That's so dad joke level. Danzig. For you? Okay. A woman's on trial for beating her husband to death with a guitar collection. The judge says, first offender. She says, no, first Gibson, then offender. <laughs> nice. <laughs> for you musicians out there. <laughs> Alice, turn your video on. No, it's the button on the bottom. No, not that one. Over to your left. For fuck's sake, Jen, you're on mute. Unmute yourself. I don't get it. Alice isn't showing up in the middle. Oh. Oh, it's a Zoom thing. Okay. Yes. All right, moving on. Clifford fucking launches a cat. Eh, you know. I had actually had to use Carl to uh, assault one of my cats because it was trying to kill a nest of uh, carnals, baby carnals. So I like, all right, Car- Carl, this is the one time I'll let you run at a cat. Go. And he looks at me like, huh? Are you sure? I'm like, dude, go. And he's a derpy fuck. So he, uh, Are you I'm sure like, it's Cardinals? Cardinals don't nest. It, they're in a bunch of, but there's a nest in. Yeah, like, Cardinals nest, they don't house. Yes, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. And they're it's chirping crazy. and screaming at my cat. And so I let, I let uh, Carl kind of do his thing and chase a cat. And the cat took off. And the, and the, and the parents were like, all right, cool. Thanks, bro. We're good. Don't make me get my. My sweet ass book out. <laughs> New bro for bro. Oh God, that's <laughs> bad. Hey, it comes with black gloves. I think seat. this is going to be a repeat. So remind me of this. But uh, time to work out. Where? Damn it, Jim. Yep, that is a dad joke meme for sure. Come on, that's great. How much of the edible did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's See, the that- roast. That, that is, is me every girl. time I join after 11 o'clock. Yeah, that is not me. I am a gangster with edibles. However, uh, 
uh, if you take the electric lettuce any other way, I am the biggest lightweight on the planet. I don't get it. Maybe it's my liver is like superhuman. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> no, God it's like damn. terrestrial. Damn it. I hate it. I hate when this fucking happens. It's fucking annoying. Hey, it uh, really is more difficult yeah. than you guys think. It's fucking yeah. annoying. Like the arrow disappears. It's Move your camera up a little. We can see your boner. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, better. Right, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. Uh, we're going real fast. So nobody know. Oh, there we go. Now we caught up. All right. Hello, guys. Welcome great. to our unboxing video. Um, What's in the box? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. USMC taking out trash in 1775. I like it. I like it. It's a Van Gogh. Fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the Rocky Mountains. That's horrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's fucking epic what? right there. Come on. When you blow this one's great. Head and you swallow his load. Hey. <laughs> hey. COVID. Oh, yeah. COVID. COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. True story right there. Yeah. Charles Manson after a shave. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. Come on, that's right. That is pretty good, actually. <laughs> that is so realistic. That's scary shit. When the teacher tells you to turn in your essay, but you ain't no snitch. Yeah. <laughs> Just a public service. Do you see anybody like that dude coming your way? Turn around. Hey, Doc did a lot of time for that. It's pull, okay. Pull. Pull. <laughs> Turn around, pull your weapon, and and try and exit the area because that dude's don't give a that dude doesn't give a fuck. I mean, if you put a tattoo on your face, on your got, face. it's just MS. The 13s is how big his cock is, apparently. Yeah, it's, yeah. I love that part in, right in Sicario uh, where they're, like, they're looking for the guys. They're coming after the 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 drug lord. They're escorting across the border. I'm like, yeah, that's hard. Yep. I mean, oh, yeah. you think the cartels would just hire like you know, straight lace looking dudes with you know khakis and like a, in like a I don't know maybe a boog shirt I don't know something like that that just stand out because if I'm look I'm searching through a fucking crowd of cars going through the San Ysidro port of entry, <laughs> looking for the dudes with face that dudes just saying he is wearing a white t-shirt. Well, you know, hey, he tried. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's such. <laughs> That's so dead. All Quit right, bagging all my dad jokes, dude. They're great. They are great. T, you're toast. All right, come on. This made me think of you, John. What? Oh, the the, the, the uh... snapper. <laughs> well, if I'm doing a if I'm doing a toast uh, while Minnie was gone, I was talking about my uh, to my nephew. Oh, Henry. yes, absolutely. One hundred percent. Henry, uh, beat cancer for a second time. Love you, buddy. Love you, buddy. You're gangster. Hey, and here's to our dog beating that shit, too. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Mm. 80s movies. How many have you seen? Uh, Pretty oh. check. Breakfast and Club check. I, check. Short Circuit check. Weird all right. It'll be easier to see which ones we haven't seen. Right. I uh, literally have seen all of them. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh. I think the only one I think I don't. I'm trying to think. Can anybody remind me of Better Off Dead? Is that uh, a John Cusack? John Cusack. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then I've seen every one of them. I've seen every single one of them. Can't Buy Me Love used to give me hope when I was a super insecure nerd in like, <laughs> middle school. That what I could do you get mean, the hottie. Patrick oh, piss off. No, I was pretty insecure nerd, but I, I mean, I was. I wasn't. I wasn't a nerd. Like I didn't spend my life on computers. I played sports. I, I was. A, and then he became a, a marine. Yeah. Now look at your motherfucking ass. Yeah, I did. I, you know, it was funny though. I could have had the hottie in high school, and I was too insecure and stupid not to to make a run. Five year reunion. I'm married, and this chica comes running up to me and tells how much of a crush she had on me. And I'm like, I want to punch you in the box, like so bad. <laughs> <laughs> like you were like, she was part of what we called the Barbara clan. Those the really pretty girls that they were popular that she didn't want to touch because 
they all want to date older guys, and I was just in love with this girl. We ran cross country together, we ran track together, like just in love with her. And my mom even like, you need to, we give each other rides back and forth for practice or whatever. And mom's like, you need to take her to prom. I'm like, she don't like me. She's way above my league. And she never, and yeah, five years later, she's like. Yeah, it's such a big crush, and you, and you never made a move. I'm like, well, it would have helped if you fucking told me, nightmare. <laughs> God, I want to punch her in the box so bad. I was so pissed. Anyways, who remembers Clackers? Uh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> Great. Oh, By the way, that's not a picture of America. That's a picture of either Philly or England. I've never seen a, <laughs> a, par- a, a player on look like that. Except for maybe, I think that's like, was. But here's the question: Did you call them clackers back in the day? Yes. Yep. Yeah. You feel like- What's in the box? Oh, it's a dick in the box. It's a dick in the box. How I look when someone asks me a question for a third time, I still don't know what the fuck they said. Yep. Yep. That's being a bartender <laughs> for like a hundred percent. Like deafen your right ear already. And you know what's funny is I always leaned in with my right ear, even if I can't hear fuck all out of it. I would lean in like that was going to help instead of turning my head to my good ear. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's, I'm probably pretty close to legally deaf in my right. But I would always yeah. lean in with my right ear like that. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're a Marine. Yeah, yeah that explains it. I was that. being a bar owner. It's like, oh, extra pepperoni. Oh, <laughs> it came out wrong. Extra Ooh. cheese. I'll get that fixed. There you go. And last night I put bread down my blouse and I pretended I was a toaster. Once again, a weird, not a. <laughs> okay. That had to have been a devil doc one. Oh, yeah, that was. Yeah. You know, when someone tries to hurt your feelings with the military, destroyed them years ago. Yeah, I still got feelings, but there are certain things. The, the triggers have narrowed significantly. But yeah, you know, since, since like joining the Marine Corps, like they used to be massively huge, and and even as I got an old. It, even despite the Marine Corps, just getting older, they just narrow and narrow and narrow. And you pretty much got to come at me, my boys. I mean, my boys, my girls. It's got to be real personal. Yeah. And yeah. If, you, if you do it, it's over. Like, I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to jail. It's going to happen. And it almost happened a couple of weeks ago. Funny story. I'll tell or you. Or pterodactyl story. trying to eat a cheese stick. It's, yeah. I would never tell well, it. I, 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 I put, that, pic- I put that picture in with the meme, so it'll come up eventually. Dude, I would, oh, thank God. I would Brent. move back to Wisconsin if it was as pretty as Cincinnati, but I love I've Cincinnati. never felt more dirty than looking at that picture twice. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever donate a bug to me, someone's owning it right now. Until we meet again. Yeah, I get it. Bye. No worries. Downfall of being my friend. I will say shit no filter, with no filter at any given moment. Outside of being my friend. Sometimes that shit is funny. Yeah, yes. true story. That's, that's the bar. That's the bar. That's that's blue. That's me. That's everybody in the bar. That's for sure. <laughs> the soft tissue between a shark's teeth is a slow swimmer. <laughs> Nerd. Really? If you're forced to take either the blue or the red pill, which would it be? Blue takes you back in time 10 years. Blue, uh, red takes you 10 years in the future. I'll take the red. I'm good. Blue. Nah, blue. Red. blue. All day long. Blue. Nah. Red. Not by a fucking bar. No, I go back 10 years. I mean, it, it, one is a big fucking you, Yeah, job. me and you are totally upset on that. I understand yeah. you're not wanting to go back 10. No, I got my wife. I got a beautiful son. Yeah, I got another kid exactly. on the way. In 10 years, if I don't remember anything, do I meet her again? Like, my wife is fucking ridiculous. It's stupid. She's amazing. I, yeah, it's it's insane. I still every day I wake up and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? She's never qualified for you. For, yeah, for sure. Like yeah. if she was a job of a plan and I had to be in the interview room, I'd be like, settle down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, sure. I would not. I'd be like, you got to go all in right now. It's like if she was a roulette table, I'd be like, push that shit up right now. You every, get veteran, some job. every veteran that gets married is another veteran and they need a hippie. I, that's just all there is to it, man. There's only two yeah. to go, man. Uh, hey, my wife's in the house watching Blazing Saddles right now. Yeah, I know, because she's hilarious. She's in yeah. uh, uh, Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. I deserve two turns. One for treason, one for fraud. I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. 100%. I'm so glad he's getting memes out there, because... He's one of the best memes ever. Ted's uh, great. He's a little 
extreme sometimes. I still uh, love him. Oh, you know, sure, but yeah, of course. But those are fun and people you want. There was, to things, there was a cat. I would love right? to. You know, I would love to get Cat's drunk. Come on, Bill Maher and Ted Nugent at the same bar getting shit faced. That would be fucking fun. Mm-hmm. That would be so fun. We would probably solve world funny. fucking problems because you've got two extremes. Yeah, right. Well, all right. Let's write down. That's let's all it charter. takes. Let's get a charter. Let's start writing this shit down. What can we right. agree on? Start writing it down. Yeah, probably. Never happened, but it'd be great. I got a Genius, joke. Genius, right I, there. Yeah, I know. I got a... Hey, hey, every once in a while, I close my eyes, swim real hard, and uh, hit home run. It happens. Uh, I get a joke... I got a joke about trickle down economics, but 99% of it you won't get. Uh, okay. Grass been wild since we since me <laughs> died. Oh Jesus. That's wow. messed up. Yeah, that's messed up. Kids show really fighting. small. That is Don't remember that person. Yeah, they're way better back then. Uh, be real, my friends. Uh, oh God. So I'm watching Banana Leaf. Uh, Genius. Oh, geez genius yeah the gun buyback went great i turned in a machine gun that left my grand that my grandfather left me yeah it's great i got a 50 dollar gift card <laughs> yeah yeah he should be fucking yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah i don't know about that one but maybe no she i trust me the only thing that woman has done that has been good was visiting fucking taiwan yeah, I think that beam actually came out before the uh, Taiwan. Yeah, I think it so. did. Is yeah, I don't wretched think it's as her. she could possibly be. Oh, yeah. She's Look, got a fucking soul. She literally now has a soul. If you guys don't check this out or you haven't seen it yet, go to the Vet Radio Sing Facebook page or go to the bar page. I uh, have become friends with this uh, online group of streamers and YouTubers called Grim Reapers. Do a lot of simulations through uh, DCS, which is Digital Combat Simulator. Right. And, yeah. And uh, I posted a bunch of their stuff that they do uh, simulations against China, and uh, oh, they did one that was uh, can we could we protect Nancy Pelosi if the Chinese went after her? Very interesting. Check those guys out. Give them some love. Uh, they got a website, uh, GrimReapers.net. Uh, you can find them on YouTube, Grim Reapers. You can find them on Twitch. They're hilarious. The guy, the leader is uh, named Supercap. He's an Englishman. One of the funniest people I've ever come across. They're going to come on the bar one of these days and do a demonstration. Uh, do like fish and chips? We're, we're going to go, well, I'm sure he does. And if he and if you give him shit, he'll destroy you because he's very clever. Uh, he's also, they also like blowing up cows. So that's, I think I'm going to ask him to blow up some cows um, uh, uh, live on the bar. Uh, and we got plenty of those here in Wisconsin. Yeah, they and they they, they they those cows. They don't like cows. They don't like you cows. like tipping cows. T. Yeah. T. Have you actually ever tipped a cow? Because I never did. Have you linebackered no. a cow I before? Never, never tipped a cow in their sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, you took a big swig. It's like nope. <laughs> He's like, I'm letting think about the lie when I tell. Nope. Him. Uh, no. No, I never did. So I mean, I I grew up in. Green Bay, Milwaukee. I grew up in like pretty much kind of metropolitan. It's, I didn't grow up where T lives. Where T lives now? Eh, yeah, no, I'm, I, I grew up in the unincorporated towns. So, yeah. Well, that's pretty freaking. Wow. Yeah. Cool but, uh, all right, moving on. Uh, yeah. 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 So yeah. fucking real. Come on. It is what it is, man. Let's get over it. It's fucking. Hey. I'd rather, send her mo- I'd rather send her money over there than us going over there. You know what I mean? Our boys. I'm fine with that. I'll spend a billion dollars instead of a, a life. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. I know it sounds fucked up, but after 20 years of war, eh, we need a break. Yeah, you're right. Do we have any Grinner up. memes in here? Let's Please have like 30 shit. fucking Grinner memes. Oh, yeah. If we don't, I'm going to send them out. <laughs> I've been the Linden Family Debt Reduction Act for 22 raises my uh, wife proposed how debt reduction act where she spends thousand dollars to target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was on a sale, I swear. My mom was trying to get up the marketing people so I could get turn next sponsors. Yeah, I, I totally would go for that, brother. <laughs> Breaking Russia just signed Brittany Greener to a long term nine year contract. Woo! Yes. Bryson, if you don't follow him, he <laughs> the is great. He's very right. He's he's the extreme right. Not necessarily my thing, but 
I love the fact that he still says what he fucking needs to say. He says shit that no one else will. He's uh, got the balls to say it. And he gets blocked all the time, but good for him. For fucking Gene, saying just for and giggles, can listen to try and answer both teams were stumped. Um, you know what? Somebody who's it's sober kinda, enough, it's... remind me, remind me, will make this a thing. And if we're both stumped, and if you get it, we'll put a point level on it, and I'll send you a t-shirt. How about that? Hey, Chips and Giggles is a restaurant like and beer fest. The one problem with trying to do that is the delay that we have from. Yeah, live, but if so. everybody's stumped, it, it's about twenty seconds. Uh, right. My best guess. Yeah. Um, so it's not that bad. Um, Matt, have you checking? Hey, my brother's arms. How are you doing, dude? How You're are good, you? brother. How are we doing? We're supposed to do a show, dude. All right, I Matt. Know. I do a lot of, I, I, on the weekends. I only drink on the weekends, but when I drink, I I uh, I drink. You uh, indulge a lot, so you gotta like stay on top of me. Uh, we gotta do. That's what she before. said. Ah, uh, I just I just it reminds me. I saw a uh, little short of um, Michael from the office trying to not say. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Matt, you got you got to stay on top of me, giggity. Um, weird, but the, yeah, we got to get you on the bar sometime for sure, brother. No doubt about that. But this is a good one. I love this. But this, I asked, asked, asked. I had to ask the uh, HM if I see if I could put this on there because I thought it'd get us in trouble. But he's like, no, pull the trigger. I'm like, All right. So it seems cool. like the left is more outraged that Brittany Grenier is stuck in Russia. Than they were about Americans being stranded in Afghanistan, and it, that is a true fucking statement. Yeah, there's still people over there. Well, yeah. hey, I mean, she volunteered to play for fucking play basketball in Russia. It's yeah. not like she was over there and got stuck. No, on the off season. Yeah. Here's the thing: if more women supported fucking women's sports, oh. she wouldn't have to be over there in the first fucking place. Oh God! Right. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's opening like the pussy and could, blaming it on men. If I could find the Bill Burr bit, I would play it. Because I have a Dude, he's so fucking great. great. But, but basically, uh, WNBA, it, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a league subsidized by the NBA. You know, if it was successful, there'd be tons of women just paid in raging and crazy. But no, you're not there. So you want to blame somebody? You want to blame the inequality? Blame yourselves. Yes. It's not our fault. It's not the guy's fault. We support our teams. Yeah. But you don't support yours. So whose fault is it? It's yours. So shut up. <laughs> I love it. It's great. It's a great bit. Or skimp your outfits, I'd be on board too. Yeah, exactly. No, I wouldn't. I am still watching oh, baseball. Oh, there's, 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 oh <laughs> talking about taking it deep and hard. Yeah, there's the there's the, the cheese last stick we were talking about just earlier. The last one. Yeah, that was, that was all the memes. I, I, I added that picture in there just because we were talking about it early. Wow, Professional, you? there they are. All right, this is no world's biggest, world's biggest mozzarella stick. Two pounds of no. mozzarella cheese. No, this is this is just a start of mine. This is yeah, yeah, Matt. It, you gotta stay on top of me, giggity. Uh, that's weird. It never sounds right when I say it. Uh, you keep in contact with me. How about that? And and uh, hit me up. And still doesn't sound right. Um, but yeah, we'll bring you on the show, man. It'll be fun. Uh, so yeah, Doc. What do you think? That sounds awesome. Okay. What do you think about the meme, though? Corn diagram for treating Marines. If the problem is here, the motor. If the problem is here, give powder. So, yeah, I, I concur with that 100%. Yep. All right. Sounds good. For, forgot about changing socks. <laughs> I've still got 800 milligram motor. Tim, you're shot. Uh, you're toast. Jesus Christ. I'm fucking not on my shit tonight at all. You're toast. My toast? All right. You're toast. Actually, so as many always say, to those that came before us, to those that will come be or after us, to those that served with us, can't say enough. There are so many ways to uh, reach out to someone. Uh, what is it? Nine eight eight now. Yep. Think about that 988 or this show. We love you all. And uh, we don't want anyone doing anything crazy. Like us. We do a bunch of crazy shit. We're a bunch of fucking nuts. 
but we love you all and uh we wouldn't be here without you so thank you so much and uh to my brothers and sisters on this show love you all so you here's to you so i can see you Official race car. Watch it. Put I have one of these. That shit don't fly over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah obviously, didn't. Yeah. Is that, one of the race rap- cards? Is that one of the race cards that the Hodge twins are selling on their site for yeah. a while? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They had uh, they had white privilege cards and then they had race cards that they were selling on their website. Those guys are fucking what hilarious. Fuck? I, I, wow. I I I I would. Uh, I would love to have those guys on if they ever had the fucking time. If Bohemian Rhapsody starts playing and the person you're with does not start singing along and at least attempts the different voices, you really need to leave them alone. You just don't need that kind of negativity in your life. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is that is the that has got to be the best sing along song in the car ever. Yeah. How do you say Wayne's, goodbye to your soldier? World made that. Yeah. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. Oh, yeah. How do you say goodbye to a soldier you just met and married? Purple Heart is now number one on Netflix, by the way. Yeah, he's the Marine. I was gonna, yeah. Hey, I was gonna bring somebody needs to find that earlier. dude and see how he's doing because I guarantee you they're divorced and he's busted down. How much you want to bet? <laughs> What's the over under on that? I mean, I was divorced, busted down, but now I'm with my number one for 25 years. So, yeah, but she there wasn't TikTok and she would, never would have done that. Oh no! I, that I is like, you fuck y'all! This. You don't need to see, see me on video. The cursor. I know everybody can see that. Like, yeah, that that's 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 that. Oh my god! If she would have done that, I just would have walked to Tijuana, just walked to the dirtiest, dankiest bar, and like, look, I'm available for fucking contract. So Red Square, yes. I would have been like, in Red Square you with need you. Me to smoke whoever you need to smoke, as long as they have protection under cartel. I got it because I can't be in the Marine Corps anymore because of this crazy bitch. Like, that's just the worst. I can't believe he – he's – it must have vibrated or something because how, as a Marine, would you let your wife do that on TikTok? Like, everybody in your command is going to see it. Everybody in the Marine Corps – everybody in the world saw it. That was one of those viral posts for, right. like, a week. Like, that dude's never going to yeah. let that down. He mm-hmm. can never win an argument ever. Nope. Oh, you're so full of shit. Oh, yeah, bro. Look yeah. at this. And they just show that fucking TikTok video of, of his stupid fucking Dependa. Oh, my God. I, 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 this is this, this, the uh, this show that's coming out on Netflix. Yeah, I, did, I just didn't it's get It's on. Concept. It's number one. Don't it's, get the, it's already out. It's out. It's number I don't get one. the concept of this. It's like uh, if it's they... It's retarded. <laughs> yeah. If, if, it's if what the Marine Corps really... Of, why is it a show? Because some people really stolen. looking to bust people that were getting married just for benefits, they'd never end on litigation. Yeah. Is it that easy? <laughs> I never actually heard anybody actually getting pinched for that because it was just so rampant that there was no point in actually trying to prosecute right. it unless it became so blatant, like you literally told your command, I'm fucking scamming you. Mm-hmm. Like nobody. And actually, you know what's funny? It, I mean, basically, they did shut down Subic Bay, though, many. Yeah. Yeah. No offense, C. But they did shut down Super Bay. Well, that wasn't because of that, you fuck. It was because of a fucking treaty disagreement. Black Sip Plus. And then and then all of a sudden China became strong again. And the Philippines were like, hey, you want to come back? We're like, come yeah, back. <laughs> we're good. We'll come back. Hell yeah, we'll come back. Just uh, don't mind the drunken sailors or Marines because they're going to marine and they're gonna do sailor shit so yeah. i talked know. to a bunch of the guys in manila after that 10 of everything happened. is shit man 10 percent of everything yeah. is shit 10 percent of the marine corps 10 percent of the navy air force marine corps everything is shit and those are the guys that always make the headlines and gals rarely the gals but sometimes the gals all right moving on uh just a heads up for sports church tomorrow at 1900 eastern standard time it's gonna be a short show because i think it might just be me and kyle Unless uh, unless uh, T shows up, we're just gonna cover baseball and call it a day. I think. But, I'll be uh, working, but god damn, you got a lot to cover, man. This is funny. Yeah, it's it's all gonna be baseball, man. But I'm butthurt that I'm not on tomorrow because that would be fucking great. 
This is funny. This is Earl Weaver, old school manager from fucking back in the day. And the favorite story of him uh, was Ross Grimsley was getting rocked one night, his pitcher. So Earl makes a mound visit. It just says, if you know how to cheat, start now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I got a few pats. I'm like, look, if you have anything, like if you want to throw, I'll stand the batter's box. You throw it at me, mess them up, just do it. Like, like, look, I'm a, I, I'm, I throw 30 pitches. I'm a closer. You're asking me to pitch three innings. This is not going to work out well for you. Stop asking me to do this. My arm turns to rubber after 30 to 35 pitches. Well, just throw breaking balls. I am. They just spin. I'm too tired. My elbow drops. Stop it. Anyways, is what it is. I love that game, though. During the sharp. <laughs> this one. This was oh, sitting yeah. by an army buddy of mine. Um, during the sharp. Pre- first charge. No shit, I fucked her so hard I took her off the staff duty Ross shirt. <laughs> Everyone knows she's talking about the E he's talking about the E two he made it only fans with, but he's trying to make an example of what not to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Quit encouraging them to join. Uh so the E four Mafia, you know, I say I'm a car carrier more of the E four Mafia. And I am. The E four Mafia is a little different than the Marine Corps. But the principles are still Yeah, the that's same. straight up army. Why are you showing that? Come on. Because it's because it's the E4 Mafia, but it's, it's a little different than the dirty. Army, but it is still pretty funny. I feel dirty right now. Thou shalt I'm not going out here. here. I'm gonna go pee. I'm not even muting. I'm just gonna pee. Always have an appointment. <laughs> that yes. It's against my profile. Never said that in the Marine Corps. I already put my leave in form, said that. It wasn't in my counseling, said that. We know stuff, said that. I didn't know, said that. It wasn't me, said that. Find a private to do it, definitely said that. Avoid responsibility and accountability, definitely did that. Definitely did that. Although it didn't work very well as an E-4 in the Marine Corps, because E-4 in the Marine Corps is a thousand times different than it is in the Army. It really yeah. fucking is. If you weren't yeah. in with the company office, you were fucked. Yeah, you were fucking, you are proper fucked. Yeah, you could dodge. Some of these commandments stay true for the for a Marine Corps E four, but n- not all of them. Especially ten. Um, I think ten, and I think ten was probably the worst one. The worst you couldn't. Yeah, they being E four in the Marine Corps is. Ugh. It's a privilege, it's an honor, but me and Pook both did the same thing we got from when we got promoted together. In the field. We were both like, "Oh fuck, you're." <laughs> we actually got. They promoted him because they were like, "What else can we do?" They promoted us on the same day in the field. It was they. We thought it was a joke. We thought we were getting pranked. They what? called over the radio in the field ASP like, "Hey, is Christian and Kramer going to have uh, Corporal Chevrons?" I'm like, "Why would we have Corporal Chevrons? We're never going to become Corporals." And they're like, "You're getting promoted today." And we're like, "Oh shit!" They okay. were like, "Christensen, fucking Sergeant Latore said he had to be on the list." Well, that's when he went up when to, he got out. Yeah, that's when he went up to uh, records right after he got promoted. Yeah, hey. he, he became a records ranger because of you. I like that. I lost, I lost my brother Pooh. I don't care what y'all say about him. Oh, dude, that's he's my a brother. fucking tight kid. He is fucking just a sweetheart. He's dude, a good he fucking dude. Way. He stood up in two of my ways. I stood up in two of his. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I wouldn't want anyone else fighting beside me. Oh, that dude's a well, maniac. Besides you, fight. obviously. You know. No, he's a maniac in a fight. Yeah. Trust me, guys. Like that dude. He's a fucking crap. beast. I love that kid. <laughs> he fights way above his dude. weight class for sure. We've been yes. in so many jams where I thought I was going to die. And Book was like, nah, I got this. And a lot of them ended up starting in Del Tacos, if I remember, but whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Classy. Classy. You got duty this morning. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, you fucking do. And it's a Roger or yes, Sergeant. How about no? I'm going back to sleep. LOL. If you don't show up at 0900, I'm going to get the master key, come up to your room, and drag you out of your bed, trust or not. My DD14 protects me from intrusion. I got out in September, remember? Oh, shit, my bad. That's oh shit, my bad, sir. I'm a civilian now, Staff Sergeant. Ow! <laughs> oh, I wish I would have had one of those experiences. Oh, instead I had ring, ring. Hello? Kremery. What? Where are you at? Uh, in my apartment? Yeah, it's Monday morning. 
It's zero seven hundred. You fuck. You want to come to work or no? Uh. No. Yeah. I'll be ah. there. Was it? Staff Sergeant Walker. Version straight. Staff Sergeant Walker. It was it Staff Sergeant Slate? <laughs> Staff Sergeant Slate wouldn't even fucking call me. He would have just fucking roared it off. Randy. And, and made me owe him. Staff Sergeant Walker was like, uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh-uh. uh. You're coming in and you're going to pay. And yeah, he did. I mean, yeah. he looked like that dude from. Um, Staff Sergeant Walker looked like that dude from Dexter, the cop, the black cop, the bald guy. Yeah. That was yeah. Staff Sergeant Walker. <laughs> he was a scary guy. He, he was, was a good dude. He did every, oh yeah, he did everything he could to keep me he out of Okinawa. Oh yeah. yeah, absolutely. He did everything he could to keep me out of Okinawa. He's like, Kremlin, you're gonna die if you go there. You're gonna die. The way you drink, you're gonna die. I'm like, no, oh, he was the best. Oki was cool. literally the best fucking place ever. Yeah, oh yeah. I went oh, to so. Oki to find a woman from Minnesota. Come nothing on. nothing funner than going to a foreign country to fight the same guys you're serving with. Camp Schwab, full of grunts. Good times. So what we did. When you finally receive all that defective earplug lawsuit money. Yeah! Gangster, Christ. baby. Gangster. Not our ears. E4 is not a pay grade. It's a state of mind. Fucking A it is. Fucking yeah. A it is. My toast uh, to Alyssa and Doc. Uh, so happy you found each other. It's a little nauseating, but, you know, it is what it is. So is new love. But I love you anyways to you. Uh, and it just gives you another, gives you another shot. So uh, congrats. How are you now? This one was my favorite. I put up on the main page. My wife whippers. Isn't he cute? Me drunk yells out, move the rifle around your head. Now you're your head around the rifle. <laughs> <laughs> that little bastard. I Fuck put that, that up. Kid. <laughs> Michelle saw it. She goes, kid would you moving really? his head. It's fucking ridiculous. She right. Goes, Fuck really? that kid. Like, yeah, I would. God damn it. That's yes. fucking irritating. I don't know. John, don't post that shit again. That's so irritating. Don't I don't I don't know about you, but this cabbage field makes me want to buy a flamethrower. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, that's a yes. little terrifying. A little terrifying. Yeah. Fitness instructor, have you ever done a marathon? Me. Uh, like on Netflix? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a gangster. <laughs> gangster. I'm also do the boys. I'm with, uh, the boys on uh, Amazon. Oh, I'm my God. Through. The boys is so thing. good. I'm waiting for it to go so I can, because I hate, I hate, look, if you make something like Disney does, the Disney does Obi-Wan and, and all the other shit. Disney like, just, just fucks everything up. Just, just, just release it so we can binge the whole thing. I don't yes. want to wait week to week. This, that's annoying. It almost makes me not want to watch it, which is what's going to happen with HBO because they're releasing that prequel to Game of Thrones. If they do it week to week, I'm, I'm not going to watch it. I'm just not doing you it. You can afford I'm, HBO. God damn, I want some job money. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, you don't want me to go there. Though. I uh, don't fuck with HBO. I remember I remember back in the day though, like shows like Seinfeld and stuff, you waited every week. Yeah. Come but, out. yeah no, not me. Fuck Seinfeld. Thing. We're spoiled now. Come on, man. I fucking hate yeah, it. Once you, once you crack open, once you release a crack and you can't put it back in. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> DJ Eugenics getting ready to drop the smallpox remix. Oh, oh. I love it. And, really and people waste all your grain. Really, really, they re- really smart people become very successful, and everybody kisses their ass, and they get put in a bubble, and they keep kissing their ass, and they get into this mindset that they know everything, and they're good, and they're godly, and, and because they're so successful, they know what's right for everybody else. When it's almost the exact opposite. Yep. This dude was the biggest introverted nerd in the whole fucking world. He created one of the most impressive things in humanity, to be honest. I mean, seriously. Like, you may think that's stupid, but Windows is was insane. What is done for humanity as far as productivity is, is incalculable. It is incalculable. But what happens is somebody like that does that, and they just get fed shit again and again and again and again. And their head just explodes in this bubble thing and they're the shit and you're not you're a fucking nerd who really good at coding stay in your fucking lane you piece of fucking shit kmfdm wrote a song about him god like 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, yeah. I know everything. I'm so smart. I'm so rich. I'm Fucking obviously so successful, so I must know about everything. No, you know how to code and run a business. Actually, you don't know how to run a business. You actually hired very smart people after you created the market, the the uh, operating system, and they made you the money. You didn't make shit. You just wrote code. Fucking piece of shit, man. And That's by the way, you cheat on your wife like a piece of shit. Anyways, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I you never like to hang out with Epstein and yeah, I never would. Yeah, and like the Epstein thing. Off. I never, I never cheat him. Anyone else? Hey, with. John, tell us something really cool. I fucking hate that piece of shit, and I guarantee I could beat him in a fight with my right hand tied behind my back. I just hey. bite. I just bite this fucking jugular and call. You're like one of them smack boxing. Yeah. Oh, I could win it <laughs> with my left hand. I could beat him in a smack boxing. Anyways, mommy, how you making fun of left handers? What do you again? mean? Are we I, are we going there again? Yeah, sure. Mommy, how can you live without eating? What do you mean? I eat every day. I heard Daddy tell his friend you haven't swallowed since college. Oh. <laughs> wow. I hear a fucked up story about that. Show. Is my wife listening? Eh, maybe she is. Yeah, right. she's always on. All right. Go ahead. I won't tell that story. I won't well, tell you that story. I'll tell it offline. Pussy. Dude, it's horrible. Um, how men shop. Uh, straight here. Yeah, we got our plan. We're in, we're out. How women yep. shop. Start. Uh, yep. Pretty much. Yep. Yep. That, I mean, I give my wife props. She does pretty good at the grocery store, but I'm pretty sure it's not that far off. That's how me and Heather, we start out at the top. Like, hey, we got these probably three things. Break she's ranks like, oh, shit, left I Left and got. right. Like, you got left, I got right. You guys break yeah. ranks. You got to. Yep. I, I, I am straight to... But you know, get point. Like, we just moved back to Cincinnati again, into Columbus, and then back to Cincinnati. Super fun, by the way. But uh, like, we're now we're at the largest Kroger in the country. Is like a um, half a mile, three quarters of a mile from us. It's the largest Kroger in the country. Kroger is, I think, the largest grocery store chain in the fucking country. I mean, like, they own a bunch of different stores. They just don't put Kroger on it. And yeah. it is fucking kind of ridiculous. It's I think they have seventy five aisles. It's it's retarded. So I, I kind of get it. Like it's holy fuck. Like how do you learn that? <laughs> like we've been here like three weeks. Like yeah, hey, I'll give her a break. Yeah, getting ready to watch World War Three kick off because an old woman wanted to check her on her insider trading investment. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm calling it here. I I may have said it before. I really don't think China's going to make a run at Taiwan. I think they're going to bluff. I think they're going to go that way. But I think what's funny is that they're back in Russia, but they're back in Russia really lightly. And here's the thing, I think. Here's my tinfoil moment, all right? If Russia exhausts itself in Ukraine, right, where are they most vulnerable? Where is the where's the most of the potential money in Russia? Is it in the is it in the west or is it in the east? It's in the mm-hmm. east, right? It's where the diamonds are, it's where natural gas, it's where the oil is, it's where all the good stuff is. Well, guess what? 90% of the towns on the Russian border, on the Chinese border and above the Russian border are, guess what the signs all read? They read Chinese. So if I'm China and I want to make an end run, do I want to go toe-to-toe with America? They've got two carriers-ish. they got one, Liaoling. It's a Knesset carrier. It's kind of rubbish. They only put like 13 off of it. They got a pretty decent blue uh, brown water navy. They got a couple good destroyers and frigates and uh, cruisers. But is if we send the fleet, not the seventh fleet, but we send the fleet, which I mean the United States Navy, China's going to get destroyed. It's we're going to lose probably 10 to 25 thousand, but they're going to lose everything. They're going to lose their entire navy. So why do that? Why pull that trigger? That makes no sense because you're not going to win. However, maybe make a little toy here and there, throw through missiles at a couple of uh, one of our carriers, maybe a couple of our cruisers, and then march straight through Siberia and just take it. Because what's Russia going to do? They going to stop them? Is anybody going to stand up for Russia? Why would you stand up for Russia? China is going to march right through there, take Siberia, which actually, believe it or not, if you look back and do your research and your history, belong to China. So they're just going to take it. And who's the fuck's going to argue with them? Who's going to fight Russia? 
Who's going to side with Russia and fight China over that? Nobody. Nobody's going to do it. Over Taiwan, everybody's going to fight China over Taiwan. Everybody's going to do that. So why do it? Doesn't make no sense. Misdirection. I'm just. I, I, I know I'm hammered. I know it's a tinfoil thing, but I'm telling you, I don't think I'm that far off. I don't. I really don't think it makes sense. Why fight the United States in a knockdown, dragout fight? But you may or may not win. But if you can hit a weakened Russia, fuck, that's easy pickings, baby. The thing though, right there, China does take that over. We are not going to sit idly by and watch that. Oh yeah, we will. We want that money. We yeah. cannot let China sit that far off the coast of Alaska. That's not going to happen. Yeah, I, I disagree. But anyways, moving on. I mean, I like your thought, but uh, even with even with Taiwan, I'm not entirely confident that Biden will do anything, and neither is neither is people in the region. Because um, I know. With them shooting the missiles over, a fucking thing. With, right. with them Bullshit. shooting the missiles over Taiwan and stuff right now, like I know my no. wife's family in the Philippines is fucking worried about this shit right now because right. if China starts making a move Japan? and they take Taiwan, then they could go for the Philippines next. They already got arguments over like the Spartley Islands and stuff, and nobody yeah. over there thinks that Biden's gonna do shit to protect them. Oh, well, I know. Same with Japan. That's why, you know, say what you say. You know. Here's the thing. Say what you want to say about Trump, and I'm not a big Trump guy. I really am not. But one good thing about a guy who's what people consider crazy is a good thing is the Russians used to consider Ronald Reagan crazy because his rhetoric, right? He used to say things publicly mm -hmm. that were inflammatory and crazy, which made people have to go on the other side go, oh, fuck. Maybe he might pull that trigger. I don't fuck. Uh, all right, not worth it. Let's not do it. And that's the thing with Trump was Jesus Christ. This this dude talks a lot of shit. Like, and he does have his finger on the trigger. He, he and he has uh, maybe. May, all right, maybe let's wait this out. Let's play the long game. So you know there is something to that. You know I'm not. A, I I don't like. I really don't like Trump. I really fucking don't. Um, I, I, there's things about him I I, I like for. But he's just, uh, he's just, oh, uh, he's just a nightmare. He's just, he needs to shut his mouth sometimes uh, and learn when to do it and when to open his mouth. He's very bad at that. And that's, that's who he is. He's going to be who he is. I'd rather have yeah. DeSantis. I, you know, I've always thought about like a requirement to be president of the United States is you have to have served in the military. But that opens up a whole kind of uh, can of worms because <laughs> you couldn't be a consul of Rome unless you served in the military. And that worked out well. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the answer. It's way above my pay grade. Uh, this husband and wife are both transgenders. They conceive naturally and the husband should shoulder the, uh, the, husband shouldered the responsibility of the pregnancies. My favorite anime series of all time. Rick and Morty. Well, that just sounds like straight with extra steps. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. You're just trying to be woke and get attention. And when it fades, you're going to blow your brains out. You really are. And I hope you don't. I pray to God you don't. But guess what's going to happen? When you stop getting attention, and that's what you base your life off of, is attention, your world's going to crumble around you, and you're going to you're gonna fucking crumble. It is what it is. So good luck with that, you fucking idiots. <laughs> oh, I imagine a pilot who had to fly her out of Taiwan. Uh, like yeah. I talked about earlier, go see the Grim Reapers on YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, GrimReapers.net. Uh, they've been on the bar. Uh, they're gonna be. I'm trying to get them to do a demonstration of uh, massacring some uh, cows on the bar live. That would be pretty fun. But uh, yeah, they did this. Um, <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> oh fuck, man! Are they really gonna come after us? And you had to think, like, no. But uh, no, they ain't got the fucking ball. They're, they're, they're air, old. They're and air, now they're uh, like, oh, let's surround Taiwan and be angry, dude. Uh, you you check out. Go check out. Um, uh, it's on the bar page. Go check out. Check out the uh, the post I put for the Green Rivers about this, and it's really actually terrifying how easy it would have been for them to just smoke her. Oh, yeah. That's super sure. easy. They ain't got like, fucking balls. We didn't they have the this game. Yeah, they could have smoked her if they wanted to. Well, they would have. I mean, that definitely would have started a war. But After maybe not. I don't Russia know. <laughs> couldn't take over Ukraine, I don't believe China could fucking do shit besides fucking shit in their pants 
and drive a fucking sub to California to take out L.A. Yeah, and I'd be fine. Maybe. Please, San Francisco, maybe. Well, maybe. And then, no, game on. It's not going to fucking Moving happen. Moving on. Relax, David. It's just a small surgery. Don't panic. My name is not David. I know. I'm David. Yeah, every VA doctor you ever met. Just kidding. No, actually, <laughs> that's a very good one, actually. Actually, I, I, it was funny. I, 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 I don't know if this is common, but uh, mm-hmm. I would rather go to the VA for emergency care than a regular hospital. Because every mm-hmm. time I've gone there for emergency care, they're like, it was ridiculous. They were fucking amazing. They were just really gangsters. That's great. Yes. That's regular what people stuff. have to hear. We have to talk Regular up. stuff. They're terrible. <laughs> Yeah, fucking we don't talk up about our, our VA hospitals no, because there's great. a lot of shit talk out there. Yeah, no, they're great. Like I had, I had, I thought I had uh, like a really bad gut for a few days. Mm. It turned out I had appendicitis, and when I when they brought me in, uh, they did that like you know kind of feeling test, and like I was like, oh, wait, your ball is dropped. No, fuck you, bitch. Almost punched the doc, <laughs> so they ran me in. For a scan, they come back out and they're like, "Yeah, your uh, pants are gonna burst. Uh, you got about an hour. Uh, or it's already wow. prepped. We're giving you Dilatin. Enjoy it. Uh, don't freak out. You think you're gonna die, but you're gonna be okay." I was like, "What? What are you talking about?" And so they shot me with Dilatin. I've had morphine before, but that's Dilatin is a no, whole that's different just level. A whole insane, different level. Yeah. I was like, "Oh God, I'm dying." <laughs> He's like, "I told you you're gonna be fine." I'm like, "Oh yeah, you're right." I'm like. Holy shit! And yeah, and it, I mean, from when I walked in the VA to when I went to surgery was less than an hour. That was wow. pretty gangster. Like uh, I went in with for a tooth that I ignored for like a week and a half. I swallowed this about about the size of a golf ball on the side of my left side of my jaw, bottom jaw, and uh, yeah, uh, I was in there and into surgery in, I think. Uh, like 80 minutes, maybe 90 minutes at the most. And, and, and had morphine. I remember distinctly because I texted my wife, Hey, I'm about to get morphine. Anything comes after this. I'm not responsible for stop. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I'm on my way. So, yeah. Uh, she said, choke me. I said, here, eat these. Oh, 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 oh. (laughs) and the granola. That, Give that me the granola. Rub. That Don't even throw that. Has never and never will be beaten ever. Nobody can do that. Nobody I eat can. crackers in two minutes. Fuck you. No, you can't. Mm-hmm. All right. How much you want to bet? No yeah, milk, were... no water, no nothing. You had to eat those that entire the regular crackers. Packet, yeah, maybe cracker the vegetable in crackers. You that minute. entire packet in two minutes. In two minutes, that's the challenge. That's always been the challenge. I'll play. What the fuck? Can't do it. What, what kind of bet? What kind of bet can we make? I mean, I don't I'm know broke as shit. So me too, brother. So it, it can be do some kind of like uh, do go fund me tea. Thing. You think I could I could bet my beard on that safely? Yeah, eat those in probably. Two minutes. Uh, I'd Jeez say question. yeah. He doesn't probably, know me. He doesn't know how fucking crazy I am. All right, I'd say you'd be probably about ninety percent good. All right, all right. Here we go. You want to make this you bet? Got some balls. Beard. I'll bet my beard, and oh my god, I'll bet uh, Doc. Beard? How yeah, much? Heard- how much money? Then he put on that too. If he does this in two minutes, he has to do it in two minutes. No water, no nothing. that packet of crackers in two minutes. A pack of emery crackers. Yeah, I'll bet my beard and the money. I'll bet, I'll we'll bet, bet my, all it. my facial hair, but we'll bet money on it too. We'll put. We have to. Too. We have to do a, a live thing and, and do a. Yeah, no, we'll do it. On I the will one hundred percent fucking crush that pack of crackers. I'm I'm right. I'm warning you right now. Yeah. I don't envy your wife if you lose this bet. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Mine. Me. Hey, I'm a handsome I, motherfucker. I, I don't care. I don't. <laughs> I, I would run it by uh, the wife before you even do it. All right, I'll run it by her. All right. Jesus. Uh, Two minutes to eat that pack of crackers. 
There's no way you do it. I've never seen anybody do it, ever. John, I will go one more. I'll eat the fucking granola bar in two minutes. And the crackers. No, no, I'm not doing both. I I know. I ate a granola bar. I did that in Bridgeport because I was starving for fucking anything. Those crackers, the granola bars. Four times harder than those crackers. Game on. Nothing. Crackers are nobody's okay. ever it's done that. It's not the We've got a it's whole the fucking website. Tea. Let's do a fundraiser. If I do it, people donate. If I don't, I fucking shave it all. I'll shave my fucking chest there. All right, let's do it. We'll set up for next week. All right. Let's... Next Sounds week. like a plan. Uh, yeah, I heard families in town. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's try, you know, fuck that shit. That's the spirit. Oh, who put that in there? Black and blue. Right there. <laughs> that was not me. We never go out there, terrible. Totally team. my shit, but I would. There's just five to three toddlers running around hitting curbs and terrorizing men. Yeah, pretty much. And giving us kids. That too. God, is my wife so listening? No, she's not. She's asleep. Thank God. <laughs> when you're 10 beers deep, but, you do something stupid. My wife never actually got up to five foot three. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one, though. I saw that. I started chuckling. Like, I mean, like a geek. And, my, and Michelle goes, what? And I like showed her. She just rolled her eyes into another universe at that point. So this next one that you just had up there? Yeah. That was me tonight at the wedding. Oh, yeah. When that was kidding. literally me. Heather's like, I like walked up with a fresh beer, threw it in my koozie. She's like, don't open that. We're getting ready to leave. And See, I was like, shh. Didn't said that. Now I'm oh, no, like, Are you serious? Now I'm, I'm like, chugging it. Now I'm, I'm chugging going it. out to hang out with my uncle, and we're going to talk some shit, and I'm going to finish this beer, and then we'll leave. Yeah, the last one I went to was my... 20 uh, minutes later, she's out there like, are you done yet? He's like, you want to give me a beer? <laughs> that you ever, did not go you, over you, ever, you ever actually <laughs> see this skit with uh Will Ferrell? This is no. like he did he did a uh, he did a fake uh, old Milwaukee commercial. That's what this is from. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh no! Last time I did this was um, it wasn't even me. It was it was my cousin Jerry. Uh, was, he's it's what's funny is is he has uh. He has kids my age, and he's my cousin. But he, we talk yeah, shit what on the internet all, for? all the time about the Navy. And uh, his wife hates me to death, hates me because she's a super lib. And I talk shit to her daughter, who's a super, super uber, like, uber lib. And uh, I got into a fight with her and her brother, and it turned into a big shit show. So last way we were at, Why? me and Jerry – my cousin are hanging out talking shit and she looks at, are you done hanging out with him? And he turns and just pours a shot for him, pours a shot for me, cracks a beer, looks at her and we do a shot together. And I'm like, Oh my God, you got to live with her. You know that, right? He goes, it's all good, bro. It's all good. It's a brother. <laughs> We're brother. It's all good. Well, here's the thing. You know, you know, my wife, John, she don't uh, give a shit. Nah, she's, she's like, not, Hey, she's we got to get going. And I was just like, because I'm a dick. Yeah, I'm clearly the asshole in the relationship. I mean, oh, without no question. You know how much paperwork she hit? Her and Banachi hit for me. It's hilarious. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's a rock star. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I don't get it, but you know, I don't get me and my wife. So there you go. Amen. Me drunk oversharing my. <laughs> this is me. Every time I move to a new city and I'm single. This is me in a nutshell. Me drunk and oversharing my life story to a <laughs> life story and many mental health problems to a group of frightened strangers at the bar. Yeah. Every time I moved, whether it was Memphis, Indianapolis, Columbus. Can uh, I mean, you just pour me a shot? Kind of what we do right here on the internet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, 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 like week. Every week. Or like, oh, my God. <laughs> I've had a, more than a few. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, there's a there's a run over. Uh, this this is my favorites of the last week. You spent thousands on gear, plates, everything like that. The guys you get clapped by on day one of the civil unrest. <laughs> Dude, come on, is that is so true. It's like that's like every time I get back on like some fucking game, 
Like, oh, new release. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm gonna play Call of Duty. Yeah, no. Those assholes. I don't do that shit anymore, man. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm about, I'm about to quit World Tanks. I'm going to DCS. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing the Digital Combat Simulator. I'm gonna start flying. I can't do World Tanks anymore because. So many sweaty, try-hard, 12-year-old German kids just whoop my ass on the weekends, and I just can't take it anymore. And Call of Duty. Yeah, why are the Germans so good at that shit? Because they're fucking Germans, bro. Obsessed. They're obsessed. Yeah. They're, they're, they, they are the most tactically amazing people short of the Romans. However, We could just walk over suck. there and just like start they slap suck. boxing them down. They suck like... Um, Logistically and everything like that, great at tactical, but they, they they suck at the like the long term plan. So they're would you say they're retarded? I say they were ignorant. Wow, that's a big difference. People, are like, oh my god, you say they're ignorant? Yeah, actually, that's not really a bad word if you look it up in the dictionary. Yeah. You fucking idiots. Look and the there's one. him. Oh, uh, well, me go, with the with the stick again. <laughs> With the veins, you and your, you and your the daughter are in the fucking neck. hilarious. You guys are the <laughs> lunatics. I love it. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Oh my god! So yeah, I, t- I mean, took the picture of that. And I was like, oh my god, this looks so bad, but it's hilarious. So I got to share it. Out. Oh fuck yeah, dude! That's one hundred percent. How uh, it's hilarious! I thought you. I left my ass off. I think once you clear like thirty and you're married and have kids, like you stop giving a fuck about what people like, right. really give a shit. Like, I, uh, do I look cool? No, like I don't care. I'm too fucking busy and tired to care about cool. I just so want to like. How did the uh, the day. the panko cheese covered cock taste? The what? what, 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 what? Oh, those the the lightning rods as they called them at the oh, is that what the they call them? Yep, they're called the lightning rod. Uh, those are good. Put some like, jalapenos or habanero. Got to want some rod. Yeah, they well, were good. Really good. Um, yeah, yeah, the sauce and stuff for it was pretty good. Hey, um, where'd you get that shirt, by the way, T? Uh, what the Semper Sometimes shirt? Um, no, the one behind you. <laughs> um, Ironclad Resolve. They do um, they do shirts. Uh, Benny had uh, some made for his podcast, and then okay. uh. Like the he has some cool hats. I think I gotta get one of those. Yeah, the Marine rapper and those guys, they had a song called We Are the People, and they made a shirt for that for that uh for that oh. song as well. So if you go to their website, you can get the those shirts there. We need to get Benny back on. We need to get TMR yeah. on one day. Fucking Granny yeah. got him on. I know those he he's on crypto. Those guys are all in Aurora this weekend. They got that yeah, they had a concert tonight in Aurora. I know. And I saw, he I went saw. to it. He flew out from Jersey for it. Fucking Jesus. He's such a Jersey guy, too. I love him, though. <laughs> he's, he's so Jersey. He's yeah. so Jersey. He's so I don't give two fucks. That's Jersey. That's oh, Jersey. did you see uh, Did you see on his Instagram, did you see that, like, Lego Nintendo that he made? with the? He made a Lego Nintendo and a Lego TV. No, I saw did. Yeah, it's it's badass. It's like he made a Nintendo out of Legos, and it's got a Duck Hunt cartridge in it, or maybe awesome. it's a Mario Brothers cartridge. But you can actually, in the Lego, push the cartridge in and out. You know, like take it out, and then like the TV's got Mario on it, and like the screen will scroll, so like it make it look like he's jumping over what? shit on the TV. That's yeah, and he so made cool. it out of Legos. It's badass. That's super. I mean, I seen. Uh, him with the Legos, I didn't realize what he's doing. That's cool. I gotta, I just gotta get back out there and check it out. That's awesome. Yeah, he's on his Instagram. I think he's he's yeah, cool we get Benny back on. Benny was hilarious. He was fucking great. He had yeah, team on, great. man. That's he. He. I mean, I, I did a little bit of a show with him with uh, Granny because I had a producer show, but uh, I stayed kind of stayed out of out of the. Uh, Stay in the peripherals for that, but uh, yeah, he's he's a good dude, man, and he's a music yeah. gangster, uh, and that's rare. I mean, a lot of people like support uh, veteran music, but <laughs> a lot hey. of fucking shit. To be honest with I you, I threw uh, Apollo and there's guys and like, Noah guys like Chris, there on my Turner. Page, right? Chris Turner's pretty good, Shannon Book's pretty good, TMR. Uh, and his crew is pretty good, but I remember back in the day, man, when we started DV we were with DV, and then we went on started VRS. It was um, Redcon One was like the fucking shit. 
and that's still one of the best songs ever. I'll, I'll fucking end with it, actually, if you want me to. I don't give a shit. I doubt they're going to throw a fucking uh, copyright claim on me at this point. But um, they were uh, they were the shit at one point. And one of their guys, uh, I can't remember his name because I'm hammered, but uh, um, he was he was a, a, a co-host of the bar for like six months. Stephen Hobbs, that's what it was. Um, but yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Like, like, be honest with you guys, look up Chris Turner. Um, find him on Spotify. Look up Shannon Book on Spotify, YouTube. Uh, those two, those two guys are legit good. Chris is great. Doc, Shannon's uh, got a new band actually called Deliberately Broken. I think. Is what not, yeah, called. I did catch that just today. I think he put a. a a live thing on Instagram it was one of the few times actually yeah. was on Instagram and somebody had a live video going and actually caught it. Um, but yeah. Uh, anything else we want to talk about before we call it a day? I don't really give a shit. I can go on forever, but. Doc, are you wearing a Boston shirt? Yeah. He's a, yeah. He's, yeah he's, he's, a, he's a Boston fan. He's brewing. I'm wearing a Boston shirt. And, but he's covered his listen, ass. He's also a fucking Padres fan. Boston. So he's not going to lose. Well, actually, he's going to lose. But we'll talk about that more tomorrow. Because the Padres aren't going to do shit. Anyways. Sorry. Moving on. Checking. Okay. I still got my Padres. I'm they, good. Don't have, they don't have the pitching. They don't have the pitching, bro. They're gonna they're gonna be the Seattle Mariners of, of 2022. Yep. Red Sox and don't do no, shit with them no, because you the can't fucking Padres. They don't got the pitching, man. They don't. They they're don't beating the shit out of the Dodgers again. Congratulations. That's great. It's not gonna happen. Wow, you beat a liberal ass city. Good job. <laughs> All right, boys. Anything else? Uh, we need to talk about before we call it a day because I gotta walk. The car. Uh, I gotta walk, Carl. Aka, no, I, th- I Carl. think I'm good. Carl, Carl. I'm good. Other yeah. than I'm a, I'm a sucker for like limited edition, and like they're saying, those still is the last year they're gonna make it. Right. I, so I got this bush light yeah. apple. Bush light apple. Got, I forgot how much I hate fruit flavored beer. I was <laughs> like rushing I, it only, earlier at the they wedding. Only sell it at, they only sell it in 30 packs. So it's like, well, now Do I you know how much trouble we'd be in if we lived close together. You know how much trouble we'd be oh, in. Oh, my God. No, we'd oh, be drinking fucking Wisconsin us. beer. The best. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, T's wife and my wife, if we lived within like 15 minutes of each other, we'd conspire to kill, each, kill us and reap these. <laughs> Because I'm that idiot beard. too. I'm like, I don't like bush light, but I'm like, oh wait, it's bush light apple. Oh, I'll give it a try. Yeah, and I'd be it's like off the only reason... I paid for it, but I still drink it. But then, uh. the only reason I got it was because like uh, the other day on uh, on Bush's like Facebook page or Instagram page or whatever, it said this was the last year they were gonna make this stuff. So I was like, well, I gotta try it before it goes away forever. So if you didn't know it already, pterodactyl is a beer <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. Yeah. Never would have, <laughs> never would have what the hell is Gene talking is about? What's wrong? Oh my god, I love you like my brother. I, I literally, but who the fuck follows Bush on Instagram? Like, why? What's wrong with you? I do. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I do. I, you still prove my point. <laughs> <laughs> You're not you will be coming to Columbus, and I will kick your ass with one hand. Pick one. Well, you hate left handers, so yeah. Right, I'll left. fight with my left. We'll see who wins. <laughs> I love you. Man. The fuck All up. Right. All right, the motherfucker. Uh, I am a sexy bitch. Um, not really, not really at all. Uh, I don't Doc, argue. you got anything you want to talk about? Uh, Alyssa, somewhere underneath the pillow, maybe. I don't know. Got anything you want to talk about? Not under the pillow. Uh, uh, not anymore. Uh, that's how we get your attention. Yeah, huh? Yeah, see how she popped out real quick? Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. just sitting here. I'm just Bono, sitting here. I'm on my own business. Drink no. Give us your Give us your two cents. Give That's what we're all about. Thoughts. So give what? I think, uh, I think you should ask Michelle about shaving that beard off. I said it when I was walking through before. Oh, when I, I said, that, that shit right? You better ask her oh, first. He's shaving her <laughs> next week when I eat those crackers. She'd fight you to death. Um, all right, final thoughts, Alyssa. Quick, you got 30 seconds. 
Uramoto, por favor. A final thought? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're getting out of here. It's been three hours. Let's call it a day. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, I, I enjoyed my fun. I enjoyed being your ass. Study hard. And you still say I next time. Thank God you were coming in broken and stupid. Yeah. Uh. Uh, I, I caught not worse than that. I caught was none broken of that. Stupid. You can try. You coming Listen, in broken you do, and stupid. You do realize I'm in Pennsylvania and you're in Ohio, so I just made a six yeah. and a half hour trip down yeah, here right there. and see you next. See, from Michelle would like. Now I heard that. See, I heard that. Got it. I didn't hear the fucking last part of that. Yeah. All right. It, Thank it's you, like uh, Bruce you. Lee. No, I said I kicked your ass for trivia and I studied hard. Yes, That's you did. Awesome. Actually, you did. I was very impressed. If anybody has twelve, uh, look, I had. Well, you know, what? yeah, I had like eleven pages of notes for last week. You had twelve, so I'll give you props. That I'll tip my hat for sure. Good final. Are thoughts. you in All Eastern right. or Western Pennsylvania? She's Western. So Western. Oh, okay. I'm in Western. I'm an outside, um, outside, I, an I, hour outside Pittsburgh. Can't tell. Yeah, I got, I got family in Eastern Pennsylvania. That's why I was. Asking. I'm, I'm Do your from Eastern said Pennsylvania. Motors? I All grew right. up in the Poconos. That's okay. where yeah. I'm from. I, yeah. I got family in writing area, so. All right, Doc. Okay. Final thoughts. Um, I had a blast. Uh, reach out to your friends. Make sure uh, you make them laugh. Um, yep. Other than that, I'm going to go have fun with my girlfriend, and y'all yeah. have a great <laughs> So happy for you, fucking fuck face. Filthy. So happy for both of you. Filthy. Yeah, fucking nauseatingly cute. Filthy. I'm, I'm legit about nauseatingly cute. Um, I love you both so much. Uh, me and Doc probably are going to be the only ones doing sports just tomorrow unless T joins us. But uh, we're going to do a short show. We're going to do. Yeah, it's probably, probably not about, my wife. Yeah. I think my wife we got a lot it. of trades to cover. It's all going to be about baseball and the trade deadline and who did yeah. well, who didn't did well, and whatnot. So it should be fun. We're going to argue. I might invite uh, my buddy Thomas Bergner on, see if he's got some time. That should be fun. But uh, full metal vet, your final thoughts, sir. My final thoughts. Hey, so glad to see Devil Doll Kathy. And uh, that beautiful lady next to him. Thank God for her. Appreciate yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out, but whatever, another time. Uh, Pterodactyl and his uh, mozzarella stick go down in infamy. <laughs> like, there's Dude, that's so that's highly so bad bad to be anything like that, that great. That, that shit is going to be fucking brutal. I can put anything that big in my mouth. That's what she said. Ah, I begged it for her. Rocks her. But you in Tijuana, but anyway. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Love you, sport in the Semper Sometime. We got to get that out there. Yeah, Semper Sometime TMR, Any, our yep. uh, militant me, our Apollo. Those guys need the love. We have to get it out there. We got the platform. Um, we need to make sure we're making sure that veterans in every genre, every musical aspect, are getting shared and mm -hmm. are being recognized. Um, you know, and this is the crazy thing. A lot of that's not necessarily what I like. I support it and I enjoy it because they're fucking better. And I 100% always will. So our, uh, our veterans out there making music, we have to put it out there. I will always share it because I love the fact that they're out there doing it. And that's the bottom line. If you love your vets, if you're a veteran supporter and you like music, just support veterans putting out music. Just share it. It don't matter if it's your thing or not. Share it. That's all that it's about. Roger it's about that. taking care of your own. Oh, yeah. Make sure you keep following Rep for Vets, too. The clothing 100%. line. Is it? What is it? Rep for Vets 22. Oh, that's right. Yep. Right. And if you all don't know about uh, vet ticks, V E T T I X, vet ticks, yeah. if you ever need tickets for a show, oh, yeah, look up vet ticks, yeah. jump out there. They are giving out tickets to veterans all the time. And they're also taking donations. So 
even what, if you're not going out there and grabbing what's, tickets, what's go it called? out there and donate to it because Tim, they are the, giving veterans tickets. Tim, what's it called? Vet, vet ticks. ticks. That's for ticks. All right. All right. Vet ticks. Right. Vet, no, you'll find it. Vet ticks. <laughs> Got it. Vet ticks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Vets for tits. I mean, that's fucking obvious. <laughs> All right. For tits. That's every one of us. Yes. <laughs> that's your tits. Really loves oh, yeah. I'm all about vets for even, tits. Even the guys yeah. who play for the other side love yeah. We're making that one up right now. Yes, we should. We <laughs> even Jim to... Haggerty's like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm all on board with vets for tits. Hell yeah. Vets for tits. He's like, for tits. He's like I'm showing sure mine right now. Hey, you know what? Vets for tits. Here's a stupid thing, but a funny idea. Sometimes this shit actually, <laughs> actually something comes good of this. But wouldn't it be a funny charity in a, in a worthwhile charity to like donate your time, donate money to for breast cancer? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yes. Any cancer? Maybe there is one out there. I don't any know. Any uh, That would be pretty funny if they have any, If somebody hasn't started it, we should look into that because I think vets for tits would catch on like fucking. We got boy. toys for tots. Oh, Why not? That's for well, listen, tots. we should do something like that. I'll make t-shirts. Hey, and, and instead of the I got a girl you could talk to. She's a Marine Corps veteran. Her name is Maggie Mosher. Uh, she has stage four cancer. She's been a guest at the bar like twice. Yeah. Uh, she's a friend of she's mine. She's a sweetheart. For years. She's just, yeah. she's just a, a gangster. And I bet she, she, we could probably get her on board to do that and just start the charity called hey, for Tits. Instead of Toys for yeah, Tots. I was going to say two work, toys working. For tots. What's that? How about in, instead, instead, of boys, instead of Toys for Tots? Yeah. Since we're no longer active duty anymore, toys for yeah. tatas. Toys for tatas. Toys you for bring tatas. in a new wrap <laughs> toy, and you get to see some tit. Uh, oh, you know, I think I think <laughs> tits is actually easy. I didn't sell, specify but... what type of tit. Yeah. You get to see tits. Tit, tit. We'll see. We'll we can see tit. Tim. Tim. I'm all for that. Tit tits. trends. All right. Yeah. See, all right, pterodactyl. Give me one last call. Oh, there we go. All right, man. What's your final thought, brother? That's your final thought. Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> By the way, I did it. My final really? thought earlier was, on, a was when I was complaining about Bush Apple. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so, my final thoughts are always the same thing. It's uh, never take a person. You just sounded like Peter problem. Griffin, fucking family guy. I have the member only jacket, uh, the bumper sticker, and all that shit. Uh, you know, I'm the guy who uh, had a toe full of trigger and a mouthful of AK 47. Believe it or not, you can't do it. Uh, threw my uh, weapon down. Uh, poor trigger discipline led to me firing it through my uh, bottom of my floor into my garage, out the garage door. Didn't see my cats for a week. Uh, thankfully, um, you know, when my wife passed, uh, Army medic buddy of mine came and uh, took my weapons away from me for a little bit of time, which was a really good idea, actually. And, um, but I reached out and then, uh, you know, funny, the, the next time I actually tried to date somebody, I had a really wicked panic attack and felt horribly guilty because my wife passed away and I'm seeing somebody else or trying to, and I had to reach out to balance stress and they were fucking Johnny on the spot like that. I mean, within minutes. Um, I don't guarantee that response, but just when you're that close, I know a lot of us have been there. When you, when you think that and you're alone and you think that in your head and you have the capil- cap- capability to do it, that's when you should be scared. And that's when you need to call somebody. Call anybody. Yeah. Reach out. You know, the funny thing is if you're busy reaching out, even if they don't answer, you're busy. You're texting. You're calling. You're doing whatever. You're not taking your life. So you're occupying your time until somebody actually comes to you. And then once they do, you're going to be okay. I guarantee you will be. So just never, ever take a permanent solution to a temporary problem. We are a – it is ridiculous. It's It's been a goddamn Amazon series. Terminal list. How – it is a fucking crisis within this country that 22 veterans a day are killing themselves. Yeah. Plus – Active duty service members. There's a fucking plague. There's a problem. And so we're here we're every not day addressing it. And that's a whole different story. But the thing is, we can do is we can always ask for help. You can always do that. I know it sucks. It's not built into our in our thing in boot camp and, and, and within the fleet and whatnot. But 
<sighs> fuck that bullshit. Reach the fuck out. Reach the fuck Amen. out. Other than that, have a good night. Like Chris said, have a good night. See you guys tomorrow. Like, one of my Listen favorite. to Apollo Blaze and Miller to me. Yeah. Support like my, our guys. One of my favorite comedian used to say, have a good night and God bless. Everybody give a big dating game kiss. Mwah. <laughs>